The following podcast has been rated Listener MA. It contains strong language, violence, adult situations, nudity. Listener discretion is advised. Uh, would you rather give up cheese or blowjobs for the rest of your life? <laughs> blowjobs all day. I, I'm the same. I'm fucking Yeah, same. they hurt my jaw. Blank. Rejected name for condoms. Gosh, I don't know. Cock koozies, jizz mittens, ham holsters, kidnappers. Yeah, try it now! <laughs> <laughs> try it, try it now! What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. I am your host. My name is Scotty German, a.k.a. Scooter McFuckstick, and alongside me, as usual, we have two excellent stand-up comedians. First, the 1984 Kingman County T-Ball Defensive Player of the Year Award winner, Mr. Jeremy Joseph. <laughs> Soak it all in, baby. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> really? Hey, yo. That's it. Just say, uh, oh, hey, okay. That's Come on, Scotty. Bring the it. energy. Jesus I'm, Christ. I I'm, threw it right back to you. I'm bringing I'm giving you comedy gold. I know. I said, hey. Okay, that's fine. And also another excellent stand-up comedian. He is the 2021 Wichita's Funniest Person, Derek Alders. I'll give you some clap here. Oh, wow. I get cla- That's twice I've you had to clap, clap this week. I, I know. I like you. I like you guys this week. I got to say that. Really? You're not uh, going to uh, like yeah. me here as soon as you smell uh-uh. that. Oh, don't. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> you fucking asshole. You're, you're not going to be my biggest fan. I, Based on the pre-show, <laughs> this could be the worst episode you've ever had, Scotty. <laughs> He's gonna fucking and smoke keep in me mind out. you've never had anyone be nice to you on this show. <laughs> that's, and that's, this could be the most unpleasant thing you've ever gone through. I don't know. JP stuck up, you know, for me every once in a while. He wanted to fuck you. <laughs> mm-hmm. And he finally succeeded. Yeah, that maybe, goal. maybe don't lead the guy on if you're not planning to. I didn't. Put I, out, Scotty. I totally Come on. didn't. Sure you did. I didn't. Oh, the tip of his Sin. dick touched the back of your teeth for crying out loud. <laughs> no. Sitting That's there giving awful. him those fucking bedroom eyes. Uh, yeah. I would be terrible. I, I That would not be a good thing. You, you specifically dress like an asshole as though you wanted it. <laughs> oh, well. Oh, as, well. It, as if to say, hey, the all of me is, is an asshole. Come right. fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, welcome, everybody, to another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. If this is your first time listening to this show, this is a comedy podcast where we like to make inappropriate jokes about the current events that are going on in sports and also very inappropriate jokes that have nothing to do with sports whatsoever. In fact, 95% of the time, they're directed toward me, and I'm fine with it. Also, this is an adult podcast where we use foul language and make loud noises, so if that's not your thing, you're in the wrong place. Get the fuck out of here. Thanks. Bye. By foul language, you mean bird terms. Right. Mm-hmm. Yep. Avian. Mm-hmm. That's what this show is all about now. Yeah, yeah that's the theme we went to. Horses and, and birds. And birds. Here and birds in, aren't real. Here in Kansas, there's an outbreak <laughs> of the bird flu among turkeys. Really? Really? Right now, yeah. So if it was November, I'd be really worried. No shit. Yeah. Oh, God, man, that sucks. But I don't think it's affecting jive turkeys. No. Thank God. Yeah, yeah. those are... They're still safe. Yep. I get called a jive ass turkey by my neighbor (laughs) almost daily. (laughs) And he's white. (laughs) Well, it fits you, Jeremy. It sure does. Yeah. I mean, I do like listening to jive. Yeah. <laughs> like the hand jive? Absolutely. Hell yeah. That's every, that's how I walk out of my house. Just <laughs> <laughs> every fucking day. I mean, that's, I just go out to the car hand jiving. Yeah, that's great. I used to do jazz hands, but jazz sucks. Yeah, <laughs> it does. I, uh-huh. did, I did find out today, uh, looking through Facebook, that Britney Spears is pregnant. Again? Yeah, 40 years old and pregnant. Wow. That, told, that kid's going to be retarded. <laughs> I was just getting ready to say that. I told my wife that. My wife was like, oh, are you sad? I said, no, unless a magazine page can get pregnant 22 <laughs> years later, then, then I might end up on Maury. <laughs> old eggs make weird fucking kids. That's just a fact. <laughs> it is. Oh, anyways, uh, guys, we've got a huge, uh, huge show for you. You're going to love every minute of it. Mm-hmm. And we're going to hate it. <laughs> Derek and Jeremy are going to hate it. I'm going to love it. We're going to love it. We're going to love it together. Uh, but we got some sports to go over. we got real shit, horse shit, man edition two. Apparently, a lot of people liked that. 
Uh, bad advice with Jeremy. Overrated or underrated questions. Preguntas. A draft. And as always, a shitty situation. So, again, if this is your very first time, tune in. Strap in. It's going to be a hell of a show. Strap in. Strap on. Get ready for Scotty. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, before we kick, kick off the show, we want to talk about what we did over our last week. And so, uh, I don't know. Who wants to start? No, so I'll start. You'll start? Okay, yeah. go ahead and go, Derek. Uh, I did baseball. You did. I did some baseball. Uh, Didn't oh, play. You no, did baseball. No, no. no. I thought they were going to want me to DH, and they uh, they nixed that idea. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you can really convince somebody you you really know a lot about the sport. I did a baseball yesterday, guys. <laughs> yeah. No, but he used his throat yeah. is what he did, you know? A uh, really good one, Scott. really did. You, you yeah. did. Yeah, a lot of people like to put baseballs in their throat. That's, <laughs> okay. Yeah, see yeah. how much sense that made? Yeah. Yeah, so fuck off. Um, yeah. No, so I went to, uh, went to opening day here for our minor league team and did some announcing, mm-hmm. and I'm parking. And they're like, what's your ETA? I was supposed to start doing all the reads at 610. Okay. It's 520 when I park. And I said, I just parked. I should be up in about five minutes. And she's like, we got to start at 540. I go, what? I have to write 60 names down. Like, I have to write the strength and conditioning coach because they do the World Series lineups for opening day. Okay. So I write down all the reserves, all the starters, all everything. And uh, I'm like, I've, that's going to give me like 15 minutes at max to write down all these names. And they're like, well, just do, go as fast as you can. So I, I get them all written down uh, six minutes late, start doing all the reads, get done with all the reads, minus two. Uh, and we are 45 minutes ahead of schedule. Uh-huh. Jesus. I'm like, why did we fucking start early? And the one lady stands up and she's like, because we timed it. I'm pretty sure that. If we would have timed an hour and a fucking half, <laughs> I wouldn't be here. <laughs> Suddenly, you turned into the Micro Machines guy. Yeah, yeah. right. <laughs> Just speeding through shit. Right. So, uh, ended up get, get, getting through opening day, and then uh, Saturday, I turned 40. Yep. Congratulations, Derek. Happy birthday, buddy. Yeah. yeah. All right. So, I've Woo! only got uh, 363 days to kill myself, because yeah. I said I wasn't going to go to 41. Mm-hmm. Nor should you. No. I think that's it's it. It's not all it's cracked up to be. People like to make a big deal of 41. They're like, oh, it's fucking great. It's not that good. Yeah. yeah. I think Off yourself. I'm going to. I'm trying to figure out how I want to do it. I think I'm just going to take a shotgun. Uh X lax and do it right in Scotty's bed. Nice, perfect. I think and, that's the way to go. And yeah. if you're going to use a shotgun, shoot yourself 41 times. <laughs> oh, absolutely. One yeah. one pellet at a time. <laughs> yes, that's the only way to do absolutely. it. Absolutely. Right. Yes. Yeah. So uh, that's the golden suicide. Sure. Right. Yeah. 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 <laughs> 41 on 41. <laughs> if only Cobain had that kind of class, <laughs> right? Uh, went to dinner uh, last night with my wife, and on our way to dinner, I explained to her what munting was, mm. <laughs> and uh, I believe I sent you guys a picture of you her sure trying did. not to vomit. Oh, yeah. She looked like she was going to yak. Oh, she was. I started it, and she's like, nope, that's it. I'm like, oh, no, we haven't even gotten to the good part yet. <laughs> so I'm going to I'm gonna read this oh. for those of you that have not looked this up yet. My hands uh, are off. Munting. You're, stand, you're sitting right there. You can still <laughs> yeah, hear him. Yeah. Dumb fuck. That's not how sound works. I can act like I can't hear him. Munting. You don't have to get an actor. Yeah. To munt. <laughs> I like that. Ah, okay. That's my favorite part. So the uh, present yeah. perfect tense. Yeah. To, to munt. To munt. <laughs> One who munts <laughs> is a munter. Yeah. Find and dig up a semi-decomposed corpse. Oh, God. One person then goes down on said corpse, whilst the other jumps on the dead person's stomach, causing the juices, a.k.a. decomposed organs, etc., to be forced from all orifices. These are then drank by the person orally connected to the corpse. Oh, my God. I lost her at dig. Okay. (laughs) Okay. And I was very pleased with myself oh, that I God. almost made her barf just from reading. I think that makes me like a Morgan Freeman style narrator. Yeah. It sure does. <laughs> and I think I just painted a vivid picture in her head oh, and of yeah. munting. <laughs> and then it's I had a, a great it's time. An activity by me and my friend Andy Dufresne. <laughs> Those were some long, long days. <laughs> Then uh, I got to go with my good buddy Jeremy on uh, Sunday, and I actually watched a game for, of the wind surge from the stands. Yeah. Because I thought I was going to be half dead uh, after my 40th, which I survived. Didn't feel too bad, so me and Jeremy went and watched the wind surge and you had sure a good did. time. 
Uh, did. Came yeah. up with a question. I don't know if the listeners would like to know, but we started thinking uh, if there is a set of twins uh-huh. and one of them becomes transgender, does the other one have to? No. You don't I think, think if so? you still want to call yourself identical twins, you have to. Yeah, I yeah, mean, yeah, that's if true. You're banking on that. You yeah, can't parent true. trap anybody if one of you is transgender mm-hmm. and the other one's not. What do they call twins? That uh, one's a female and one's a male. Fraternal. Okay, then they just be fraternal twins. I don't know. I don't know. It depends on how far you got. If you commit to the bit, yeah, right, that's true. You, you can't have gone your whole life introducing them as your identical twin, that's and then true. suddenly they're not. You're state law. Yeah, you yeah. have to do it. State yeah. law. It's common law. Yeah, mm-hmm. common law. <laughs> yeah, then it's the two you got to fuck a little. <laughs> And then, uh, Jeremy and I were having a good old time uh, making fun or just giving people absurd mm-hmm. nicknames as they were coming up to bat. They were giggling like a bunch of little girls. We were keeping you secrets hear, from you. You could hear Jeremy just sitting there doing, you know, when Jeremy's getting ready to laugh, the, huh, 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 just like I'm sitting two seats away from the guy and I can just hear them giggling like little girls. That's what I do when people say things that are actually funny. That's, <laughs> that's why you, you don't hear that a lot, Scotty. I know, and it's okay. I'm not supposed to be funny. Well, I would appreciate it if you were. I have a lot better time when things are funny. Nah, it's true. I think, I think my favorite one was when we started, and I just really wanted to heckle that guy with it, was uh, Jaron, where's my car keys, Kendall? <laughs> I just really wanted to start. Jaron, where's your keys? And his, his catchphrase in interviews was, where are my keys at? Yeah. Um, that, that was his let's play, too. <laughs> Uh, all right. Anything else? No, that was, that that was, was pretty it. much my week. I got my Stone Cold t-shirt on. Yeah, you do. I got that in the mail. Yeah. I asked my wife. I said, honey, do you know what this says? She says, no. She says, it says Austin 316. I said, no. It says, I just whipped your ass. <laughs> I said, do you like my new shirt? She started to answer. I said, what? <laughs> I, said, I said, do you like my new shirt? Well, I, what? <laughs> so I had a little fun with that. I I'm found sure maybe the most disturbing thing about that picture of you describing munting to her. Yeah. Why was your wife driving? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Gas is expensive, and I only got 82 miles to empty, and we drove to the other side of town. Gotcha. Right, but makes you could be behind the wheel. Yeah, you could do a good car. job. Yeah, you think it gets better mileage with her behind the wheel? Probably, it's okay. aerodynamics. Fair enough. Okay, all right. Okay, my week. Uh, I did have a really good time. We had a good time at at Derek's birthday. All of us were there. Uh, his real friends were there. I don't consider myself a real friend. Yeah, you polite. weren't even invited. How did you uh, get there? I, my wife. You invited my wife. Oh, I came with yeah. my wife. That's what it was. I told you, God <laughs> damn it. <laughs> We're going to have to have a talk. Mm -hmm. No, everybody was really nice. Uh, Everybody that came out to see Derek. My stepdad came out to see Derek for Mm -hmm. his 40th birthday. That was awesome. Yeah, he said he wished he married my mom instead. That's why he left my mom at home is the whole deal. (laughs) That's why she wasn't there. Um, But no, it was really nice to see a whole bunch of people I haven't seen in a really long time. A lot of our close friends were there. Uh, So again, happy birthday to Derek. I do love you, believe it or not. Mm. Um, after that, uh, we did go to the, to the wind surge game. I just so happened to show up there too and, uh, and bother them some more. Uh, but yeah, we had a great time Uh, opening day while you were up in the booth. I don't know if you know this, but it was fucking cold. Yeah, it was windy. It wouldn't have been that bad if it wasn't windy, but Jesus Christ, it was cold. Me and my wife and our friends were sitting out in the bar out in left field the whole time just to cut off the wind by friends do you mean vicky with the horse head on her no uh, no that no. was the most thinly veiled humble brag that you were up in the booth scotty and i wasn't up in the booth you said it was cold up in the booth no Derek was up in the booth we were down in the concourse and it was fucking cold oh Derek wasn't out there so he didn't Derek get to belongs it. in a booth he does mm-hmm. he you does. look at Derek and you're like that's one booth, booth. sitting yeah. motherfucker yeah, yeah i think if i gain a few more pounds though it's gonna have to be tables Tra- probably that yeah. should be your new nickname Derek the booth alders <laughs> <laughs> yeah um we had <laughs> that. only when i'm only when i'm dh what's up right. big boot <laughs> right but before that in the middle of the week last week i got to go to a concert at the cotillion for the first time in like 10 fucking years ballroom stop no no uh here's the deal I I got invited by my brother. Everybody that's listened to the show before knows who my brother is. He's big into concerts and stuff like that, and he got an extra tickets to go see 311. Now, 311, not my favorite band in the world. I know like four or five songs, so I I was more than happy to go. And they did a great job, and it was kind of nostalgic because they were really popular back when I was in high school. I heard they booed you from the stage. Is that correct? <laughs> that yeah, they weird. did. They did. <laughs> I tried to. I tried right to. In, right in the middle of like their best song, they just went 
Boo! Yeah, yeah pretty much. <laughs> I've heard your fucking podcast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was trying to, to crowd surf, and this six foot five guy just fucking slammed me on my bag. He's like, fuck your podcast. <laughs> Um, but other than As that, well, should have. <laughs> yeah, right. Have you heard this piece of shit? <laughs> uh, but no, other than that, the, the, the band that opened for them, gin blossoms. No, uh. no way better band. <laughs> <laughs> they were playing for $5. A ticket. <laughs> no, they were doing twice as long as set to open. No. <laughs> The, for free the band that opened before 311 there was only two bands it was them and 311 they fucking were awesome they were they, so good tell they? me the 310 no they, they, i hope so no yuma 310 to yuma <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly 310 to yuma no it's this band called the unlikely <laughs> candidates and they're a new upcoming band they had a really big hit and it was called uh, novocaine and I was like, shit, that song is catchy. And so I was thinking, I was like, man, I kind of want to make an intro video of our show using that song. It's because it's it's basically you can't change me. We're going to be in a, uh, like inappropriate assholes for the rest of our lives. Was that a sequel to Bush's uh, Glycerine? Yeah. Okay. Yes, right after it. All right. Um, but in all seriousness, I found out something that I, I, I guess I just didn't really think about. And I didn't, I, I mean, I knew it, but I didn't really think about it. These bands that are coming up nowadays, they don't even own their own fucking music. It's yeah, they, owned they by their. Don't. Yeah, they generally don't. It's yeah, owned they lease by, it. No, that's owned by the record they, label. They, they rent it with a with an option to buy. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of a rent to own. Yeah, yeah. it is. They go rent a center style. But yeah, I, after I, two years, mm -hmm. what they get to do is they get to decide if it's right. something they want to keep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, or if they just want to just give it all back and say, you know, we don't want to play anymore. Right. Uh, but no. Uh, we, uh, we we had a conversation with them, very brief one, and they said basically we keep, we don't own it. If if you want us to send it off because it, it looks good, I sent them a video of it, and uh, I was like, nah, I don't think I want to pay a royalty to that. So those of you who are listening to this episode, I hope you enjoyed the new intro. Yeah, I worked a lot uh, really hard on that. So yeah, but okay. uh, other than that, that was my week. That was it. So it doesn't have the song. It does not have the song. It's the it's the so same. So you build this whole thing up about the new song, and then there's no new song. Shut the fuck down by. A awesome band but i'm glad i gave them a plug they're they are really awesome so <clears throat> jeremy how was your week better than yours i'll tell you that i know um let's see uh well of course uh saturday i went out and uh celebrated Derek's birthday a lot of people there i don't know a lot of people i did know uh really enjoyed everybody's company except one guy uh his wife was delightful <laughs> but uh <laughs> there was one guy that's just a real asshole <laughs> i'm not gonna say yeah <laughs> who it was you got but, a crook in your neck i sure do boy god no okay <laughs> anyways got that straightened out but no that was a lot of fun uh, i actually spent more time around you fuckers than i'm comfortable with yeah no. All, this is the third day in a row that i've seen you guys and i don't care for it um but let's see i think that probably the highlight of my weekend friday night uh, i went out to the bare knuckle fighting the ice yeah yeah nice. uh, Got to see our buddy uh, Dave. Three knuckler. It, it was five, four. Was it all five four sometimes five. Wow. I mean, there may have been some deformed fists out there. I didn't get that close, but uh, no, there was. Um, it was a, a cool event. Unfortunately, our friend Dave lost. Uh, yeah. Knockout early in the second. I, I believe going into it, the uh, the other guy was the favorite. By a little bit. I think he's a little more experienced boxer. Yeah, he was I'm going to guess favored. if it was a MMA fight, Dave would have wiped the fucking floor with him. Dave, if you're listening, Scotty said he would have got you in the first. He Bullshit. Sure, he, I didn't he, say nothing like that. It was like before that. the show, Dave, but he said he'd have fucking one punch your ass. This is not true. He mm -hmm. said it. He definitely said it. He said he was going to um, Supergirl punch you. Yeah. I can't think of the guy's name. Uh, it's Nico Hernandez's brother. Mm. Uh, Pico. Pico, yeah. <laughs> Pico Hernandez. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> He uh, runs it's a food ne truck. It's it's also Nico, but it's spelled different. Um, <laughs> Hernandez is spelled different. Uh, but no, I I can I I apologize to him for not being able to remember his name. I'm sure he listens. Um, Everybody, dude does. came in and fought a dude that had no business being in the ring with him. <laughs> uh, okay, I I think I've got a grasp on how the betting works. How they they weigh the betting like. Uh -huh. That it's how much you would have to bet to win a hundred dollars, correct? Right? Uh, 
this Hernandez came in at 1,200, minus 1,200. <laughs> oh, my 1, God. Oh, wow. Yikes. Um, the other guy was plus 650. <clears throat> uh, so, um, yeah, it was, I'm going to say there were three punches thrown in that fight. It was over in the first 30 seconds. Oh, wow. Uh, so that was cool. But then there's a, another kid, I believe it's, oh, God damn it, something. Rico uh, Hernandez. Isaac Doolittle, mm. I believe. Um, he's another Wichita local that fought in the like the co-main event, yeah, uh, light heavyweight division, and he is now the number one contender for the championship. Oh, so Ben Ogbayani Jr. That's who it was, right? No, I thought I had the fucking floor. No, well, you kind of do. I I feel violated. I don't care. I feel bored. Don't care. Go ahead, continue. I feel. <laughs> Awful. I feel sick to my stomach like I've just heard about munting for the first time. <laughs> you may have been raped. Yeah. Anyways, <laughs> uh, this entire event, one thing that's really opened my eyes to, I now question the ethics of ring doctors. Yeah. <laughs> okay, first off, a as a doctor, it is your job to care for the health and well-being of others. How do you not stop that fight after the first punch? Seriously, I mean, how do you not see one guy get hit in the face, jump in and go, "I, sorry, guy, somebody's going to get hurt." Uh huh. Because I mean, really, that's what it is. But permanently. But, in, but instead, like they'll go check up on him in between rounds, and it's like, "All right, kid, your nose is swollen to the size of a pumpkin, and your jaw's been ripped off your face. How many fingers am I holding up?" <laughs> <laughs> Close enough. <laughs> yeah, he's good to go. Because, I mean, there were some fuckers that were just completely, their face was caved in, and not one fight was ever stopped be, because the doctor put a stop to it. And nice. I'm just wondering, like, if somebody ever got killed in the ring and they did, like, an investigation, and they bring the ring doctor there, and they're like, we saw you checking up on him between rounds. Now, he was quite clearly bleeding from his ears and anus. <laughs> um, why didn't you stop the fight? Well, he knew what day it was. <laughs> <laughs> I shine a light right in his eyes. What the fuck else you want me to do? <laughs> I think we're done here. Yeah, you're clear. <laughs> because that's, that's really, I mean, you're a fucking doctor. Why would you ever approve people to do this in the first place? But that's just my, yeah. my thing on it. Uh, if it was up to me, I would just go tell somebody to beat the other to death. But right. I'm kind of barbaric that way. And then, yeah, I uh, like I said, I went to Derek's, and then I went to the ball game, had a really good time. Unfortunately, the uh, the surge did not win. No. I believe they're 0-3, right? They yeah, that's tough. It but is. But it's minor league. Who gets a fuck? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I just don't want people here in town just to be like, oh, they stink. We're not going now. That's true. That's Honestly, if you're going to minor leagues to see them win as opposed to watching future stars – I mean, that's really, in my opinion, the, the real reason to go to minor league games. Yeah, that's the yeah. hook. I mean, yes, hook. you want to root for the home team. You hope they win. But you know what? It was still a really good time. And uh, aside from a little bit of a breeze, it was a perfect day for Beautiful. fucking baseball. Oh, yeah. Absolutely perfect. Absolutely. Yeah. But you always do root for the home team. That, that, there's a song about that, I think, right? Yeah, Not yeah. me. I actually root for the visitors. <laughs> I used to do that. That's like one of my favorite things to go do. Yep. Root for the home team? No, the no, visitors. The visitors, oh, yeah. Sure it is. A, years ago, I went to a Wichita State game, and when they shoot their free throws, it's like mm. dead silent, mm -hmm. right? And all you hear, I'm in the student section because a buddy of mine got me tickets, and he was like, a, or no, I was in the family section. He was a yell leader for them. Oh, nice. Right? And so I'm sitting where all the families of the players and cheerleaders and everything are, and it's dead quiet, and they're shooting their free throw, and right as he's getting ready to release the ball, you hear me go, Miss it! <laughs> <laughs> it was fucking hilarious. And if anybody looks at you, would be like, I, I was talking to somebody else. <laughs> Sorry. Well, that would work if I did that on one free throw. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> but I did that on every free throw. <laughs> right. You keep seeing guys who are about to get hit by cars. Yeah. <laughs> Just dead silence. Mm. Where's your keys? <laughs> That's pretty good. Got your keys right here. <laughs> That's pretty good. I like it. All right. I like how specifically his car keys. Not his house keys. <laughs> Not his house keys, no. His khakis. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, was that, you got anything else? Do we have a, a, a TV show review this week? Oh, God, yeah. Uh, what did I watch? Okay. 
I watched a documentary series, a two part series on Netflix. Okay. About a guy named Jimmy Savile. Okay. Okay. Imagine how big like Johnny Carson was here in the United States. Oh fuck. This guy was that level of celebrity in England. Hmm. And he was he was always doing things <clears throat> to raise money for charity for sick kids, making wishes come true and all this shit. And shortly before he died, it turns out this guy was a fucking rapist. And I mean, all said and done with over 400 different charges against him of, of rape and sexual misconduct. So the UK of, Bill Cosby. Yes. Okay. Exactly. That's exactly what he was, mm-hmm. uh, except he was white and looked a lot like Ric Flair. <laughs> okay. Ric Flair and Marty Feldman, because he had these weird fucking eyes. Oh, he, right. he played... Uh, Igor in Young Frankenstein, if you don't know who that is. Weird fucking eyes. <laughs> he he actually was a professional wrestler for a short time. Okay, that makes sense. In England, and uh, apparently all the wrestlers fucking hated him because he was just so weird. But um, no, uh, this guy just basically pulled the wool over the eyes of an entire nation, just like Bill Cosby did. And the problem is, is that all of his victims were children. Oh, fuck. Yeah, 14 and under mostly. Good stuff. Mm-hmm. All right. What if that's all he wrestled, like Andy Kaufman? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. I'm gonna have the middle age or the what the teenage belt intergender. <laughs> yeah, that's teenage. what Andy Kaufman had. He was the intergender wrestling yeah. champion. Great. Um. Yeah. What if? <laughs> I don't have an answer to that. <laughs> I hope there's a part three to this documentary series <laughs> that just explores the what ifs of Jimmy Savile. Awesome. Yep. All right. Well, we've got a great episode for you today. We got no, some we don't. We do. Why you gotta be so negative? Huh? Why? Well, you just keep telling they're good episodes, but that, I don't think we've had one good. One I yet. haven't seen one. Yeah. That's mostly because I don't watch or listen. You know, fuck you guys. Stop, we, we, stop setting the we expectation. Put excellent yeah, set the content. Bar, set the bar low. Let's limbo this son of a bitch. No. Yeah. Let's come in right under expectations. No. We, we have a mediocre show for you guys we today. Sure do. We got some <laughs> stuff we're going to talk about, and we're going to get to it right now. The show is probably not worth listening to, but if you do hang on, I guess... Be prepared for disappointment. <laughs> this yeah. is going to be the half-assed mm-hmm. on the sidelines episode. There you go. All right, but before we get to the sports and all the other fun stuff, we got to say <clears throat> thank you to a sponsor. Rubbermaid. Who? No. What? No. Absolutely not. I thought Rubbermaid picked us up. No. No? No. Oh, trapper Keepers. No. Tra- yes, Trapper Keeper. <laughs> For all your school supply needs. If you need a loose leaf three ring binder that can also hold portfolio files and pens. And, and a sweet ass race car on uh-huh. the front of it. Uh-huh. Or not. You're getting close. Fuck yeah. You're getting close. You know, I mean, kids are getting ready to. No, wait a minute. This is uh, after spring break. Kids are getting ready to get out of school now, aren't they? Well, come know. May, yeah, next yeah, come month, May. Yeah. Okay, You're all the right. One that so knows all about kids. Shut Kelly. up. We don't no know shit. Anything. You no. and Jimmy Savile, <laughs> <laughs> Bill Cosby. <laughs> mm-hmm. No, uh, apparently summer is coming around the corner, and so for that, you, why wouldn't you want to go and celebrate your summer? You know, meet some nice uh, hot uh, females with, with beefaroni. <laughs> with a <bush>. beefaroni, <laughs> no, is <laughs> the San Francisco treat, <laughs> <laughs> or <laughs> the San Fernando treat, <laughs> or, or some women's pussy lips. Um, but anyways, no, absolutely 14 not. Fourteen year old pussy lips. I didn't say anything about you fourteen were year old. Speaking of beef, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. But no, in all seriousness, our sponsor. It's a great sponsor. It is Manscaped.com. They're the best sponsor. People are saying this is the best sponsor. Best sponsor of all anybody's time. ever had. Where's Donald Trump when you need him to do this no stupid shit. thing? <laughs> anyways, no, they are the best sponsor for us. Anyways, it is Manscaped.com. They sell products to help keep a uh, a man, a young man, groomed. We're does, young men. Why does he got to be young? Because you guys are kicked out of that fucking club now that Derek's fucking 40. I'm still yeah. in my 30s. Fuck you both. You don't think I take care of my jewels? Nah, you might. Fuck yes, yeah. I do. I keep them nice and shaved thanks to Manscaped. Yep. If it weren't for Manscaped, I'd probably let it go. You would? Yeah. No, I'd still... frozen that motherfucker. Let it go. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, but no. I thought about getting Scrotox. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. <clears throat> yeah, make my balls nice and smooth. Stretch it out. Mm-hmm. <laughs> really fatten it up. Make it nice and plump and Absolutely, buxom. Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> Who doesn't want a buxom ball sack? Yeah. That's nice. nice. It's easier than it's easier than getting bee stings in them, you know. It's a it's a camel yeah. toe for men. Did you see his ball sack thing had an hourglass figure? <laughs> <laughs> Guy's balls were like a coke bottle. And if you have one in that, I bet you could kind of do that if you just moved one to the top and one to the bottom, a little rubber band in between. <laughs> Why not? They do it with African kids' heads. <laughs> oh. 
Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, my God. You've seen that shit. You've seen a National Geographic. You know exactly what I'm talking about. Oh, my God. Oh, Oh, fuck. Well, that's the show, folks. It's not going to get any better than that. Keep laughing, asshole. We'll see you next week. I'm fucking red. I can't even breathe. (sighs) But anyways, (laughs) how can you segue from that? You to, can't. To none other <laughs> to bullshit. You bullshit. know. You know what? As shapely as their heads are, their balls are hairy as fuck. <laughs> That's what makes them unsightly. For just ten cents a day, <laughs> <laughs> you can you groom can. an eight-year-old child's ball sack. Oh, oh yeah! God. Thank you for for finishing that. Even though, as awful as that is, not grooming an eight-year-old child <laughs> is even worse. <laughs> that means something even worse. For what uh. it's worth, I have to send them sound checks. So we're going to start this ad over. No, this is perfect. <laughs> no. No, no, we shouldn't. Thank you to Manscaped.com. They yes, make, thanks, they, Manscaped. They do make... <laughs> Boyscaped. <laughs> oh, fuck. They make excellent products for, uh, you know, keeping your, your bush and your tush clean. That's very Damn important. Damn right. The Lawnmower 4.0 is their, uh, you know, their their star, their diamond in the rough, That as sure it is. Mm-hmm. It sure is. It does an excellent job. It does. It has an LED light uh, that's adjustable now to where you can, you know, and, and uh, heavily, um, uh, well, heavily lighted places you don't need it to turn the light on. But uh, if it's dark, you can fucking turn that bitch up. And I only shave in the dark. That's it. I mean, it's it's basically like a game of craps to me. What did I hit? <laughs> Call it. Yep. Yo, 11. Uh, but they also, and now dock, so it actually has a docking station, so you can oh, put that on display in your they bathroom. They won't dock you. No. Okay, that'd be no. fucked up. That would be fucked up. Mm-hmm. Uh, they have other products as well. They sure have do. the Weed Whacker, which is my favorite to get rid of your nose hair and ear hair. Mm-hmm. Um, and they You have, don't want to use that on your balls, by the way. That'll no. take forever. No, no. That's a waste of time. It, it is. Uh, but they have the manicure kit. They've got cologne, which uh, gets you all the chicks, right, Jeremy? It sure does. Yep, called Refined. I get so much puss. Yeah, I know you do. They've got tons of other products there at manscaped.com. Do us a favor. Go to manscaped.com. Use the promo code SIDELINES. Get 20% off of your order and free shipping. That helps you out, helps us out, and lets Manscaped know that we're not talking about certain shit during these commercials. Nope. You got to keep it clean. From belt buckle to dirt knuckle. <laughs> That's, right. That's right. Keep it clean. From there bush, you go. From bush to tush and Derek from... Huh? Oh, uh, Flesh Rocket uh, Stink Pocket. There you go. <laughs> Thank you, Manscaped.com. <laughs> Jesus, how the hell did we fuck that up? No, <sighs> we didn't. Nah, no, it was great. Uh, but anyways, we got sports. I think we're going to get a promotion. I think I, so, too. I, we should. We should. I want to be a colonel. I, we're gonna, I, they're going to like send us over to Africa to groom. <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's a fucking, it's a, it's a missionary mission. It's yeah. a, <laughs> we're going to join the Peace yep. Corps, and oh, we're shit. headed to Ethiopia. Right. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Fuck right. the sandwich. we got to clean you up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's flies in there. Here, eat this and stand still. <laughs> <laughs> All right. But anyways, we do have some sports to get to. First things first, uh, we're going to get with some uh, some golf. I know you guys are bored out of your mind for it, but this is actually pretty impressive. Tiger Woods plays in the Masters just over a year after almost losing his right leg. And his life. And his life. Really, yeah. <laughs> Fucking impressive. And I believe he made the cut, correct? Uh, I believe so. Uh, I, he finished the entire tournament. He did finish the entire tournament. He was he was six over, so yeah, he, I mean, he, he didn't he, do he very well. He wasn't competitive for it, but yeah. uh, just to make the top 40. I think what this really... Casey Kasem, that motherfucker. Yeah, he did. I think what this really proves is since he almost had lost his leg and he came back from that accident where he almost died right. in just a year, I think this goes to show that golfers aren't athletes. <laughs> I, I think that pretty much proves the point right there. I don't think so. Look at John Daly. <laughs> that is the that is the <laughs> most beautiful specimen of a man ever. Can I can I make a confession? Okay. Mm-hmm. When we're not here at the show, mm-hmm. that's all I do is look at John Daly. <laughs> <laughs> he has a live cam on him at all times. He, he doesn't know about sure it, but does. I just watch him. Truman Show, but with John Daly. Yep. I watch him when I cook eggs. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> Anyways. There's when a, I look for my car keys. One right. of my favorite things you can do, there's a website called uh, Christopher Walken is watching you dot com. Uh huh. And all it is is a picture and it just says it's Christopher Walken's face and it just says Christopher Walken is watching you pee. 
And I used to like to print those out and tape them up in public bathrooms in the back sure. of the stall door. Why wouldn't you? <laughs> Fuck, like you do. Yeah. So, you know, Christopher Walken can watch you while you're watching John Daly. There you go. All right. Good deal. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Scotty Scheffler was actually the one who won the Masters. Congratulations to him. Apparently, it was a big, huge deal for him. He didn't well, think he was uh, up for it, I guess, but uh, showed that he was. It, it is. Okay. Here's the thing about golfers. Mm -hmm. You hear about the top. I'm going to say 10 golfers. Mm -hmm. You hear about them regularly. Yeah, Roy McIlroy, those guys. Are you going to fucking list all 10 of them? I was talking. I had the fucking four, VJ Scotty. Singh. Yeah, VJ Singh. <laughs> He's still in there. For, yeah. You know, that that kick-ass golfer from 06. Yeah. Yeah, VJ Singh. Sounds like an Indian women. sex move. Yeah. It, it kind of is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's when you get down there and start opera singing and shit. Yeah. yeah. Asshole amigo. <laughs> Player pussy like a centaur. Or whatever that's right. <laughs> a dulcimer. This is going to be a long one today, um, kids, and I don't give a fuck. No. Uh, but here's the thing. These guys you, you don't really hear about a lot. People think of golfers as being very wealthy, very rich, making great living in those top 10. Maybe let's say top 20. But below that. Those guys are struggling to get from tour to tour. So to win yeah. something like this is like maybe makes his career. However, did you see how he almost he was up by six strokes, and I think he three putted at the end. Yeah, he was and almost four putted. He he, uh, well, he had a commanding lead. He ended up being I think Royal McIlroy, if I remember right, was the next one up, and he still beat him by three strokes. So he didn't give a fuck. Right, but it was literally like a Happy Gilmore. Like all you have to do is sink tap this one in, in. six tap putts. <laughs> Give it a little tappy. Tap, tap, tap a -roo. Uh But yeah, uh, but yeah, it's pretty cool. Tiger Woods actually made it back. I'm pretty pumped. He's going to, uh, he said he's going to be able to play the U.S. Open, so good for him. I'm glad he didn't die. But speaking of almost didn't die, this guy actually did die. Dwayne Haskins. Oh, boy. Yeah, tried to cross a highway, gets hit by a dump truck. I really feel like this is just low hanging fruit, so I'm not even going to go there. What? No, you got to. I don't, actually. I'm better than that, Scotty. All right. I mean, just, I mean, just look both ways, kids. Yeah. That's it. That's all you got to do. Yeah. But anyways, because that happens, and they he got literally Mitch. got hit by a fucking truck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. A guy who's trained to look out for defensive backs <laughs> got hit by a huge fucking <laughs> truck. <laughs> yeah. You can scan the pocket all fucking day, and you can't see... A fucking truck. <laughs> they talk about when a joke has, it's easy to see the punchline coming. <laughs> Did you get hit by the truck that was attached to that? <laughs> Apparently, Dwayne Haskins did not. It's the most <laughs> ironic fucking death for a quarterback of all time. <laughs> and we're very sad, and we, we pray for his family, his thoughts and prayers for them. Yeah, yeah I heard his left tackle got hit too. Yeah, oh, did he? No. <laughs> well, Jesus. He, he got hit by the pulling dump truck. <laughs> so, because of that, very sad and uh, very un. Yeah, or, you know, we're very. All broke up about it. <laughs> Sorry. But because of that very sad and unfortunate uh, situation, here comes Mitch Trubisky, starting quarterback for the Pittsburgh Steelers. That's what it takes. Somebody <laughs> dying Somebody has for to him die. to win the starting job. Oh. He's, he's like, he, he went to his accountant and said. <laughs> How much is my salary in terms of dump trucks? <laughs> How his, many dump trucks and drivers can I buy? He or at least rent. Fired uh, Drew Rosenhaus. His agent is uh, Frankie Fourfingers. <laughs> oh, <really? Sure. laughs> oh. No kidding. And, oh. and every dump truck driver is like, we could give him a discount. Is he Polish? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but no, it is. Yes, it, it is. It is very. Sad. It is sad. It is sad. We're, I mean, the what, what's what do we always say on the show? What, what's the timeline after somebody dies when you can start making fun of them? About an hour and a half. <laughs> so I just think immediately. I mean, immediately. Well, that depends. Are you the cause? Yeah, no. Then you should so keep your goddamn mouth hours. shut. Yeah. If, if, yeah, he, if he, your fucking trap <laughs> shut. And if learn Dwayne how to stay Haskins free. ever met me, he would want to jump out in front of a fucking well, dump truck. We can truck. guarantee that's not happening now, is it? <laughs> we can make it happen though. <laughs> yeah. Sure. <laughs> I hope that his hearse is a dump truck. <laughs> oh, God, that's terrible. I really do. I hope they just drop him in that hole. Yeah, but unfortunately, yeah, the Pittsburgh Steelers are pretty much forced to go with uh, Mr. <clears throat> Trubisky uh, this year. 
Sorry, guys. Let me ask you guys this. And this is just something that I have thought about. Do you think that they break the bank to try and bring Ben back for another year? No. No. You don't think so? No. no. Did you not see him last year? I did see him, and he's a thousand times better than Trubisky. I don't know. I, I, I don't necessarily think that's even true. It, if nothing else, okay, here's the thing about at least ben, Tr- Trubisky can throw if, at 25 yards, at if least. Ben comes back, they're selling out every game. If Trubisky's starting, they lose fans. Uh, okay, here's... From a, from a, a, it'll, a it, it'll fan's t- perspective. I'm it'll not, take four games before they start losing fans. Once they see how terribly inaccurate he is, mm-hmm. then they'll start fucking stop. They'll stop. Right. Going. Whereas with Ben, even if he sucks all fucking year... They'll still come to see Ben for his final season. Or he, he, well, they kind of did that all last year anyways, but I think you kind of do have a point, actually, now that I'm sitting here thinking about it. He could legitimately come back, and even if they're and terrible, play a hero. and be a hero and say, you know, I came back because of the situation mm-hmm. that the Pittsburgh Steelers were in. It was either me or Mitch fucking Trubisky, and I decided to come back. Turns out I invested all my retirement money in a construction company. <laughs> it uses a lot of dump trucks. We saved some money on drivers. <laughs> but, yeah, so unfortunate, sad. Uh, I really do feel bad for him and his family. I, so. I, I don't yeah. feel good for him. Yeah, exactly. Uh, but next one, uh, Marcus Mariota to the Falcons. That happened like two weeks ago. I know, but we didn't talk about it last week. That's because it's irrelevant. It's totally irrelevant. <laughs> it doesn't it, it matter. It doesn't fucking matter at all. Who gives a flying fuck? They're not going to be. I, I mean. That's a lateral move on your backup quarterback. Right. Exactly. I, I don't think the Falcons are going to be very good at all next year. But they, they did pick somebody up, didn't they? Uh, they uh, no. Who cares? Did they not pick up uh, Dick from the Browns? Uh, yeah, Dick. Uh, why can't I think of his fucking name? Mayfield. Mayfield? Mayfield. No, 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 they did not. I was wrong. No, you know who I think I heard. I that. cited you as a source, you cocksucker. <laughs> That's your fucking dumb. I wrote problem. an article in the USA Today. Wow. They didn't print it, thank God. Yeah, but because I don't work for them, but I still I, I sent it in. Yeah. Now I feel like a horse's ass. You should. You know, Bears' new GM, pretty savvy guy, Ryan yeah. Poles. Uh, I, you know, who he is, uh, whose agent he's talking to right now, trying to get signed. Who? Uh, Dwayne Haskins. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> sure trying to bring him back. Damn. Good luck with that. Yeah. Uh, but no. The, uh, speaking of Baker Mayfield, there actually are some trade talks as of uh, today, and they involve at least there's there's some <clears throat> rumors involving um, possibly DK Metcalf involved in a trade with that. I don't to know who? why to Seattle. Seattle. I don't know why DK though. Metcalf already placed for Seattle. No, but he, the, he like would a, go to Cleveland. <clears throat> he would go to Cleveland in a Ohio. In a multi- he, no, Delaware. Delaware. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. That makes more sense. Mm-hmm. Totally. Sorry, guys. God, they need an NFL yeah. team like a Cleveland, motherfucker. Cleveland yeah, mud hens. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Uh, but 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 it's not over yet. Baker Mayfield. That's odd. Yeah. <laughs> a minor league team that's already in Ohio. <laughs> yeah. Huh. Huh. Uh, uh, there's smack <laughs> dab in the middle of Delaware. <laughs> right. Uh, but no, it's not over yet. I don't think any movement happens right now. But I think on uh, on draft day, I think Baker Mayfield goes someplace. Any, anybody else think that that's going to happen? You no. think he's going to get drafted again? No, huh. I think <laughs> I think he's going to be in a bundle trade of he's some kind to, to, get, to, to get draft picks. I really do I think, think that's he's probably going to be in a bundle with uh, cable and high speed internet. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Home phone too. Not a, no, not with Baker Mayfield. Oh. You can either get home phone or Baker Mayfield. Okay. That's, that's your only two real options there. Damn. And I'm 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 going with the quarterback. Yeah. Well, I mean, if if I own phone. a if I own a football team, I've got a home phone. Right. No, thank you. Oh, I'm going home phone because I need to get on the internet. That's the oh, only way you yeah. can get on the I internet. I forgot. Yeah. yeah. Di- dial up, man. You, you got, got DSL, you can, don't you? No. No. Oh, dial up. Oh, dick sucking lips. He's got those. Yeah, sure, he does. High do. speed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's anyway. how you suck dick? <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> I, you got to get the worst. <laughs> either the worst or the best head of all time. I don't know which one, but it's going to be interesting. Let's say that. <laughs> chicks love it, man. Oh, fuck. Just go I'm it. sure those chicks love how you suck their dick. <laughs> Hey, I got a question. I got a question. (laughs) Okay, what? They're identical twin. (laughs) Is it is it a chick or is it a dude? (laughs) I don't know. (laughs) Hey, big boy. (laughs) 
What, what the fuck? That's how I cat call him. Sure it is. <laughs> can, can you just see me at the street corner? Hey. <laughs> Go on to construction orders. <laughs> what you boys doing on your lunch break? <laughs> Uh, Honestly, fuck. I will pay a hundred dollars <laughs> cash money to get you to do this out in public, Scotty. We'll do like an impractical joker situation, <laughs> and you try to pick up dudes using that. And I think we should take donations from people. Anybody who wants to contribute to this fund, and we will donate that money to Manscaped yeah. for all the money that we've lost them. Right? I bet it works for JP. Yeah. <laughs> We will well. donate that money to the uh, the Haskins Funeral Fund. Fuck. <laughs> He's so got terrible. enough money. We're yeah. going to donate that to uh, uh, African, African children. Hairy, yeah, hairy that's, what that's what we're doing. <laughs> to get more string ties for African yeah. kids. <laughs> Damn it. Okay. Yeah, African children with hairy nuts. <laughs> That's going to it's reverse alopecia. It's, uh, Damn it. I like to think that's what they did with all the old 3.0s. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and the Super Bowl t shirts right. for the losing team. <laughs> and then we're going to take that hair and donate it to the Locks for Love. Right. Yes. Oh, my goodness. Anyways, moving on. Uh, we don't talk about NBA basketball very often, but when we do, it has something to do with some prick named LeBron James. And guess what? The Los Angeles Lakers. <laughs> Lakers are out of the 2022 NBA playoffs with a bunch of fucking all-stars on the team. Get fucked, LeBron. That's great. Oh, it's fucking great. I don't want to hear it anymore. And he quit on him. Yeah. He, he didn't said play. it's an angle. He said it's an ankle. Yeah. He, he quit. He quit. Fuck If they were guy. in the playoff race, he'd be playing. Yeah, exactly. This dude. Which they weren't actually. I mean, that was a long shot, but they weren't technically eliminated yet when he quit. Mm. Yeah, and and I'm gonna be on. Well, you know, he hates that play-in <coughs> game. He spoke out publicly last year about the play-in game, saying whoever's idea that was should be fucking fired. And now he would desperately love to have that <laughs> in that fucking play-in game. But uh, you know, between okay, you got LeBron on one side, <clears throat> and then you got winning time on the other side. And I both love and hate the Lakers all at the same fucking time. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly right. I Isn't was that, a Laker fan till he went there. Isn't oh. that Jeannie Buss? She still runs the team. That, or uh, really uh, or Jerry Buss still the technical owner of the team or whatever. I don't sure. think she actually... Didn't she marry Phil Jackson? I don't know. I think so, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Pretty sure. Uh, but anyways, Lakers head coach Frank Vogel is to be fired at the end of the 2022 season. Well, that, when that, you have that record with that team, that's... Yes. But we all know who coached that team. Exactly. His name is LeBron, LeBron James. James. You fucking idiots. God, I, I swear. Is he, is he as good as he's... Like, no. supposed to be, right, or is he but, cancer? No. But this would be like losing the bronze medal game with the Dream Team. Yeah. That's the equivalent of the job that he's done. Right. However, I, LeBron James is calling all of the shots. And, of course, he's going to blame it on the fucking coach rather than, you know, his lack of ability to lead the other players like he's supposed to. It's amazing I, for an all-star or an all-star player that LeBron is, one of the greatest of all time, quote-unquote. Mm -hmm. And how many fucking head coaches that he's gone through? They had a deal done with DeRozan, who has had a fantastic season with the Bulls. Um, I think he went like the whole month, uh, one whole month averaging over 30 points for the whole fucking month. Way to go, bro. First guy since Jordan to do that um, you know, for the Bulls. Sure. And uh, they had a deal done, and he said, no, I don't want DeRozan. I want Westbrook. Way to go. And so they nixed the DeRozan deal, and I also heard that now Anthony Davis might be getting traded. Oh, yay. Yeah, <clears throat> great. So. Well, he also said uh, recently, um, before they were completely eliminated, he says that uh, in today's game, Steph Curry is who I want to play with. Steph then responded, I'm good right now. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Get, get fucked. I don't want anything to do with if, you. If I was a premier player in the NBA, he is the last guy that I would want to play with. Yep. He is <clears throat> perhaps... While he is maybe, probably not anymore, but at one time certainly the greatest single individual talent in the NBA, he is the worst fucking teammate yeah, oh yeah. that you could ever hope to have. He's Terrell Owens. Yes. Yeah, he that's a good one. Yeah. He is Terrell Owens of the I NBA. Agree. Yeah. So, anyways. I'm waiting for him to go, I'm not the one that got tired during the playoffs. Right, no shit. You know what? He's taller than Terrell was. <clears throat> 
Oh, so, he no, he's nothing like it. Okay, whatever. <laughs> That's my entire criteria <laughs> for discounting that analogy. Even though the rest of it's spot on, it's a height thing for me. <laughs> Good stuff. He knows where his car keys are. Right. Yeah. <laughs> All right, moving on. We got opening week uh, of Major League Baseball. This was pretty mm-hmm. exciting, uh, surprising opening for the uh, for the series for the our teams, uh, the Cardinals, the Cubs, and the Royals. Up until today, I guess uh, we're recording this on Monday. Uh, the Royals are now two and two. Uh, the Royals are two and two. Yep. The Cardinals are two and one with a uh, postponed game against the Pirates today because of rain. And the Cubs, uh, at least while we're uh, recording this, is two and one as well. Mm-hmm. So. Good starts for our team. Sure is. The Royals start off winning a three to one contest. Then the next day, won a very exciting one to nothing in the tenth. You know that'd be a great game to go to, right? Where up until I believe the eighth inning, they nobody had a runner beyond second base, um, and then so basically they went into game three with a point five ERA amongst their pitching staff. And then lost seventeen to three. <laughs> <laughs> kind of blows that shit out of the water. And then I believe today they lost ten to seven. So they're two and two. So five hundred, right where they ought to be. Yeah, uh, they're but, still in contention. Right the, uh, till but, tomorrow. Right, but this is something that really bugs the shit out of me with all of of these these people and these sports analysts and shit like that when they say somebody's on pace to hit one hundred and sixty two home runs in a fucking season. Well, we talk about that every year. I know, but I fucking hate it. It drives me fucking nuts. The uh, the Cubs say a Suzuki, yeah, the Japanese guy, uh, Jeremy. Uh-huh. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> he uh, had six RBIs through his first three games, tied a franchise record, mm-hmm. which is surprising. But the big news of the Cubs was all the hit by pitches. Mm-hmm. Uh, benches cleared. Yeah. Uh, Contreras got hit twice. He's been hit fifteen times by the Brewers. Yeah, they don't like um, that. Yeah, and it got to the point where, where what really pissed him off is he changed his batting stance this year <laughs> oh. to, to get a little more off of the plate uh-huh. because he was tired of getting hit and gets hit fucking twice. So he got fucking pissed. And now, I can't say I blame him. And they uh, so the last game they threw at McCutcheon. Uh, the Cubs threw at Andy? McCutcheon. Yep, old Andy McCutcheon. Mm-hmm. Uh, Dufresne. Dufresne's sure, yeah. brother. <laughs> yeah, I threw it old Andy McCutcheon. Oh, Andy. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, they threw up McCutcheon, and uh, <clears throat> that's when the bench is cleared. It's like, well, you hit them four times. Now, and I believe a fight did not break out, actually, did no, it? it? Just no. a lot of uh, heated screaming. Attitude. Yeah. Uh, David Ross got a one game suspension, the Cubs manager. Uh-huh. And Papa Rossi? Keegan Thompson got a three game suspension for hitting McCutcheon. Wow. As far as I know, last I heard, Brewers, not a one. So, yeah. Fuck everything in the state of Wisconsin. This <laughs> happened in 2015 with the Royals, <clears throat> where. In, through the first uh, two or three seasons or series, the Royals had been had players hit by more pitches than any other team in the league, had not hit a single batter with their pitching. Then Kelvin Herrera comes in, throws behind uh, Noah Syndergaard's head, I believe. No, or no, Brett, no Laurie. Brett, Brett Laurie. I was at that game. Yeah, and um, who had taken out their shortstop the day before. With a sh- dirty with a slide. With a dirty, dirty fucking slide. <laughs> He had already been hit by a pitch once, and people said, well, now things are evened up. Bullshit, you still got your shortstop. <laughs> we don't have our fucking shortstop in the goddamn game, so until your guy comes out of the fucking game, shit ain't even. So Kelvin Herrera threw behind him and was ejected from the game, given, I believe, a five-game suspension yep. for not hitting him. <clears throat> yep. <laughs> All these guys who had been hit for the Royals, not one suspension from the opposition – the Royals fucking pitcher doesn't hit somebody and gets suspended for it. I was worried for myself because I didn't hit anybody either. <laughs> so I was afraid I might get suspended for a few games. I was fine, though, guys. Don't worry. Sure. The sure. one thing he did do at that game was point and say that the next one I'll hit you in the head. Sure he, he did. did. He did say that. And the, who I felt bad for that game uh, was Billy Butler mm-hmm. because yeah. he was on the A's. So he's friends with all yes. these guys in the clubhouse. Yeah, he's got to try and play Peacemaker. And now he's got to play Peacemaker, yeah. Talking about uh, Country Breakfast? Mm-hmm. Yep. That's the worst fucking nickname of any player. I don't know where my yeah. key's at. Uh, where's, my car, where's my car keys? Jaron, where's my car keys? Kendall. That's very true. That's a pretty bad one. Well, he wasn't in the league at the time. <laughs> yeah. Um, but, yeah, there, there was that. Uh, Shohei Otani comes out firing. Looks Looks pretty good. My question to you guys is, uh, obviously, it's early in the season. I'm not sitting there saying of what has happened so far. But <clears throat> who do you think 
would actually beat out Shohei Otani this year for the MVP in the AL? Trout. You think Trout? Trout's always a threat. Okay. Yeah. Um, I've here's the mine. problem. So long as he is an effective both pitcher and hitter, he's always going to be one of the front runners. People are always going to be amazed by that, even though really kind of in the second half of the season, his hitting tapered off, and he is a middle-of-the-road pitcher. Yeah, I feel that way, too. I think he's a two or a three. He's not an ace. He's no. not an ace. I yeah. mean, he's their ace, but that's because they don't have very good pitching because they can't afford him because they paid a fuck ton of money for him and Trout. They got oh. Syndergaard now. Yeah, that's true. Oh, do they? Yeah. Well, maybe the Royals should hit him <laughs> <laughs> just to make up for that Brett Laurie bullshit <laughs> and his stupid fucking socks and glasses. Fuck that guy. Who do you think, though, Jeremy? Do you think like if you were to put one guy in the, in the American League up against Shohei, who would you put? Uh... I've got God mine. Damn. I've got I'm, mine. I'm going to say, well, fuck. Vlad Jr.? Yep, that's mine. Um, but so long as he only bats and doesn't pitch, maybe they should put him in the bullpen. Yeah. Have him bring him in to set up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Then now really what? Impress the fight. Now what are you going to do? <laughs> Fair. That's got a wicked knuckle yeah, curve. Yeah, fucking Guerrero's got six saves. Sure he does. And 52 yeah. homers. <laughs> there you go. Now, granted, he's got the highest ERA of any pitcher in the league. Right. At just over 17, but still. <laughs> just, Will he does pitch. Will Farrell him, just let him play for every position. <laughs> sure. For every AL team. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah, he's a super utility guy. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, Jeremy had one more thing to add on to the baseball part of this uh, this episode, which was... Are we uh, talking about what a great guy our, the commissioner of baseball is? I fucking hate this motherfucker. Listen. When when you go through a very heated exchange of, of uh, negotiations between you and the players' union and you don't really give a whole lot to the players who maybe deserve to get a little extra, what else says, hey, we appreciate you, than a thank you note and a pair of Bose noise-canceling <laughs> headphones? Because that's what each player got. I'm going to assume that didn't go down to the minors. That's just stayed for the guys who are, you know, in the majors. Um, what a cocksucker. <laughs> I, I, you would have been so much better off not doing anything because yep. they didn't expect anything from you. But if you're going to get a gift from somebody, make it something useful. I mean, buy them a car. I guess, but they don't fucking need a car. Actually, they don't. What they needed from you was, uh, you know, more career uh, security, mm -hmm. long term money security for the guys who are only going to play a season or two. Um, other than that, keep your fucking headphones, <laughs> Jack off. You know what I think would be great? The next time this comes up, because I'm not sure how long this deal is, but the CBA, it comes, it's going to come up it's again. It's going to come up again, yeah. Uh -huh. And when they go to have their meetings, if all the players in the meeting just put on their noise-canceling headphones be as they're trying yes. to negotiate at the table. I, I hope whenever, because it shouldn't be too long before he's fired, <clears throat> is it? I really don't think he makes it through the end of the season. He will. Whenever he gets fired, I hope they all send him their fucking uh, Bose noise canceling <laughs> headphones. Who fires that guy? He's the head of baseball. Who would fire the man? the owners? Yeah, the owners. Uh, make him him out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, he's, he's 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 appointed by the what is it, the owners commission or whatever. Why, why would the owners fire him? I mean, he just didn't give any of the players any money more, so he basically sided with the owners. Well, he did side with the owners, which is his job. I mm -hmm. mean, he if he came out on the side of the players, he wouldn't be that great of a commissioner, but. He's the most hated man in baseball in, in my lifetime, maybe. Yeah, I he's, agree. He is a cocksucker and a piece of shit, and he does his job like shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, Any that, of us, if we did our job as poorly as what he does, we'd have been fired yesterday. Yeah, long, long time ago, in fact. Mm -hmm. I don't know if he's the most hated man in baseball in your lifetime. Bryce Harper? Nope. Who you got? Alex Rodriguez? Scotty Gurman has a media pass Oh, for the wind surge. That hate, might be the most hated man in baseball. I hate, the, I hate the fact that you referred to him as being in baseball. Yeah, um, no shit. I, I'm he, not swinging a bat <laughs> out here. I probably could. But you have a lanyard you wear. You got that because you host another podcast, and we've seen how good you do that. I do an excellent job. I bet you do. I I'm, do. I'm sure you've You thought about say, doing that full time? Yeah. You should. I should. Boy, he sure makes sounds good. Yeah, I do. Fuck you. Got one of them voices. All right, moving on. Yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's how he got that job. <laughs> yeah, I just, I just, I can't even do it now. 
Uh, all right. What, your lips chapped? <laughs> yeah, a little bit. <laughs> put, some, put some chapstick <laughs> on those. Yeah. All right, moving nice on. Buzz to him. We get to move on to the fun part of uh, of our what show. About the Braves ring that I told. Oh you about. yeah, I forgot about. You talk about that shit. That's You're talking about fun. the Atlanta Braves. Yeah, their yeah. World Series ring. Did you see it? I heard about it. It's got fucking working lights in it. Uh, the top, I believe, twists or pops off and opens. Uh huh. And inside is a little replica of the stadium with eleven rubies inside sure. that represent where all the home runs went. And then there's actual lights in there. I don't think they're actual lights. They're I think working lights. I think they're actual like the sun comes through and it's like a diamond and so the it looks like the lights coming through. Right. No, yeah. actually it was made by LA Lights. Remember that shoe oh, company? Yeah. yeah. That LA. when you step on them the fucking soles lit up. Right. That's exactly okay. who made their rings this year. Yeah, Justin's okay. partnered up with LA mm-hmm. Gear. No. Right. And uh, nice. Those are authentic cubic zirconias <laughs> in there. That is probably it's probably the coolest World Series ring I've seen. Regardless wh- whether or not there are actual real lights in there or if they're diamonds, like I said, it's a fucking cool World Series ring. 100%. I'm sure that at least some are real jewels. I mean, typically like a player ring or whatever, they those are usually a fifteen thousand dollar ring. I mean, they put a lot of gold or platinum and real jewels into those fucking. Yeah. There's a hundred and fifty diamonds in the A because that was their hundred and fiftieth anniversary. Okay, and then uh, it's. 1871, I think, is when they were established. Yeah. So that there's a hundred and or 18.71 carats. They yeah. were the original Cincinnati Red Stockings, I believe. Okay, mm-hmm. we were just talking about that the yep. other day. All right, and they went on to become the Boston <laughs> Braves and then the Atlanta. Milwaukee Braves. Milwaukee Braves first, that's right. And then uh, Atlanta, <laughs> Atlanta, yeah. All right, soon to be Delaware. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, the Delaware Braves. It, it Come on, move be. aside, Delaware. All right, guys. Now we get to move on to real shit or horse shit. We have uh, the man edition two this week. Again, uh, I feel like yeah. we're overstaying our welcome on this whole I man yeah, thing. I, I, think so too. I don't know. I think. I, I mean, granted, we're going to run out of them, so this may be the last time we do this. But uh, you know, I kind of like these. These are kind of fun. Mm-hmm. So, uh, anyways, we get to say whether or not we think this is real shit for us or horse shit for us. Uh, but yeah, pretty simple, uh, self-explanatory. First one: On hot and muggy days, I kick my leg out to unstick my balls from my leg. That's horse shit. What? I don't do that. You don't? No. If I do that, then the fucking fabric is going to f- drop down and my thighs are going to rub together. Mm. Fat boy problems. You don't want to do that. I guess I don't. I and you powder them shits up in the summertime so you don't have to worry about it happening anyway. So, okay. No. Fair enough. This For me, this is uh, this is real shit. I definitely do know the kick. I also do the like the like the leg shake, you know, where you kind of look like you're dancing a little bit. Mm-hmm. That one helps, too. Uh, but it, you can always just move them with your hand. Sure. Jeremy? Um. It used to be real shit for me, but anymore, it's just fake shit. I've stopped caring. I'll just reach down the front of my pants <laughs> and move shit around. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> okay. I don't need to make it look like I'm dancing. All right. Fair enough. Uh, next one. Real shit or horse shit. I wear a pair of jeans multiple times before washing them. Oh, that's real shit. God damn, that's real shit. Two that's or three, absolute real shit. Two or three times. I don't Depending think on most, what I did. Yeah. Most people do not understand the physical properties of denim. You could actually put them in a pigsty, stomp them in the fucking ground. They come out clean. You cannot get <laughs> jeans dirty. <laughs> When when we say multiple times, 50, 60 times. And, and I live with an Asian. They love laundry. Yeah. And she still, I don't want her to wash them. Yeah, I, I multiple times. Multiple times before they get in the wash. And the only reason why they get in the wash is because my wife finds them on the floor and then puts them in the washer like for me because it's just automatic reflex for her. Chris Hardwick has a great. Him. Yeah, and then you can't find them. Yeah. Chris so. Hardwick has a great bit about jeans. Yeah. I suggest anybody go Liz talking about acid wash jeans and. How, what were we trying to say with that? Like, I live this acidic lifestyle. Everything <laughs> about me is dangerous. Like, in the future, are people going to be like, hey, those are nice jeans? Yeah, thanks. They have AIDS. <laughs> 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 These are HIV jeans. <laughs> nice. All right, next one. Yep. Real shit or horse shit. I need special ways to remember important dates like birthdays or anniversaries. Horse shit. I pretty much remember that stuff. This is fucking real shit for me. My wife did it on purpose for our wedding day. I, like, if it weren't for like reminders of people's birthdays and shit like that, I'm awful with dates. It's not that I don't like you or don't love you. It's it's because I don't. I can't fucking remember dates. So this is real shit. Uh, this is horse shit for me because 
I don't give a fuck if I remember your birthday or <laughs> anniversary, honestly. Uh, my wife has stopped giving a fuck about our anniversary and uh, learned to not expect anything. I Speaking of grooming, um, I got her <laughs> taken care of. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. It's it's basically, it's like dog training anymore. I just hit that clicker and she knows not to expect anything. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Except to get hungry because it's dog training. Yeah. Um, anyway, go ahead. Okay. Hit, hit, give me the fucking rim shot for that. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Next one. Real shit or horse shit? When I ask my wife, is something wrong? And she says, nothing. I believe her. Oh, that's horse shit. <laughs> I do not believe her. <laughs> and if I let that go, I am in deep shit because I did not investigate. Yeah, I am in no way. Yeah. You ask at least three or four times you are basically consenting to murder that's what you're doing if you think that she's actually meaning nothing so yes this is horse shit jeremy uh this is this is horse shit for me or well okay it's real shit for me because i learned a long time ago not to ask is something wrong and just ask what's wrong very good <laughs> i had just assumed something is wrong Tell me what the fuck it is. Right. Um, there, There is no waffling on whether there is or is not. I'll tell you, something's wrong. I just don't know what it is. Right. Um, but, yeah, something is always wrong. Uh, and, I, and I know this because if she's being quiet, that means it's me. Something to do with me. <laughs> Otherwise, she has no problem telling me what the fuck is wrong. In fact, she goes out of her way to tell me what's wrong. And even when I go, I don't give a fuck. She still wants to tell me what's wrong. She, you talk about somebody who cannot take a hint. For her, <sighs> <laughs> means tell me more. <laughs> that's, that's where she's at in life. Very good. Mm -hmm. Next one. Real shit or horse shit. When a woman is take, oh, I'm sorry. Let me take that back. Real shit or horse shit. When a woman is talking to me in a very revealing dress, I consciously stare into her eyes and only concentrate on not looking at her boobs. Oh, I just stare right at her boobs. <laughs> I do that when she's not wearing a revealing dress. Wait, women have eyes? Yeah. Fuck, I didn't know that. Uh-huh. Yeah, I'm just, I thought they, are they the things on the front of their boobs? Are those the eyes? Mm -hmm. I thought so. They're red or right. pink sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes yeah. they're brown. That was a Saturday sometimes Night Live skit. Yeah. About an alien invasion from women with boobs for eyes. Her <laughs> eyes, nice. eyes in their boobs. <laughs> I can't stop staring. <laughs> Looking right in the eye, and I feel awful about it. Okay, is it my turn? No, this is oh. mine. Uh, oh, this Jesus. is real shit. I, I mean, I, I get nervous because I don't want to, you know, I don't want them to feel uncomfortable. Obviously, they're, they're dressed... talking to you. They're uncomfortable. Right. Yeah. I know. I mean, just sit there and just go <laughs> and, and make it really uncomfortable. But Why no. does he want to suck my dick? <laughs> Again with the second dick. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's Scotty. I realize my dick's German. <laughs> I realize my dick's way bigger than his, no, but still, I don't have one. As the motorboat in sound, mm. uh, but no, it it really does. It makes me uncomfortable. Way to save it. I'm, yeah, thanks. I'm I'm trying as hard as I can not to look. It's so hard not to look, though. So uh, this is real shit for me. Jeremy? My turn. Yep. I have actually gotten to a point in my life where I don't give a fuck, <laughs> and I will actually call them out for it. Um, <laughs> I uh, not not necessarily so much in person because women have learned not to wear revealing shit around me or it's going to get <laughs> creepy. But like on on uh, Facebook and shit. Uh, okay, I'm a member of several woodworking groups, and there's like this this one couple where the woman has obvious enormous fake tits, <laughs> but they sell like cutting boards, right? And she's always holding the product. Yeah, and, and but her tits right <laughs> square center just a ton of cleavage and so i put on there hey wow at least you're taking a lot of pride in your woodwork and not really trying to draw attention to your great big boobs i sure do appreciate somebody who really appreciates great craftsmanship and doesn't try to draw attention to their great big jugs i've been blocked <laughs> from that person's <laughs> post no uh, kidding. But I mean, it's so fucking obvious what you're doing. Yeah. If if you're a craftsman making stuff, quit trying to sell it with sex. Nobody gives. We've all seen boobs. And by the way, if you go on the internet, 
A lot of people have way better boobs than you. As good and however much money you think you paid for them, there are better boobs out there. Hell, I like them so much, I got some of my own. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If my dick was longer, I'd teddy fuck myself all day long. <laughs> Absolutely. All You'd right. see me with nothing but pearl necklaces. That's right. That's how I'm going to start selling stuff now. Just cleavage? Yep. Uh, yeah, with my cleavage. <laughs> Absolutely, you should. We're alone. like, hey, do you want to buy this iPhone? <laughs> <laughs> we figured it out. You like my glasses? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you thirsty? Uh, yeah. <laughs> All right, last one. Real shit or horse shit? When my balls itch, I scratch them and smell my fingers. Oh, shit. Why? <laughs> Why would you do that? Do you do that? Fuck no. Uh, Are you, you kidding me? Ugh. I don't know. Okay, apparently this is a thing that guys, apparent, all of us do. No, we don't. No, we fucking don't. I don't stick my hands down my pants and then smell them. I stick my hands down my pants, but then I wash my fucking hands. The only time I stick my hands down my pants is when I'm taking a piss. Okay, or, or jerking off. But oh, still. I do that naked. Okay. Oh, Jack well. off naked. Okay, that's fair. But no, I, I don't know anybody that puts their hands down their pants, scratches their balls, and then smells them, you sick fuck. Jeremy? What's the question again? <laughs> <laughs> the question is, real shit or horse shit? When, I, when my balls itch, I scratch them and smell my fingers. I'm going to answer you very honestly with a question. <laughs> what are you asking me? <laughs> Do you scratch your balls with your hand and then sniff them afterwards? Yeah. Um, <laughs> oh, my God. Listen, I know they're going to stink. I need to know how bad <laughs> oh they're going to stink. That's disgusting i think that's how yes, jeremy wakes up in no the morning shit. yeah that's exactly it's right like smelling salt just yeah. like oh, i'm a little tired hang on uh, yeah. oh, oh shit yeah. i'm awake all right i, I can go two more hours on the highway i here. obviously need a shower yes fuck my asshole even freshly out of the shower my fucking balls smell like a warthog's asshole <laughs> <laughs> i i set new records on a daily basis i i make a swamp down there that you would find a fucking oak island treasure in. <laughs> oh god you could fucking scuttle a boat in that shit that's how fucking nasty my balls are, and I need to know exactly where it lies. Is it tolerable or not? And the only way to do that is with experimentation. Smell your fingers. Just don't oh, taste them. Good God. There's something seriously wrong. As with long you. as you don't get too far back. Right. Then you don't smell your fingers. You just go right to wash. Yeah. All right, kids. Well, that is uh, real shit or horseshit <clears throat> for this week. Now we get to move on to the ever-growing most popular segment of this show. First of all, I don't think you're going to beat last week's. Episode. No, of course I'm not. No, and in that, fact, I'm not. I'm. I'm not real happy with this week's, but I'll still go ahead. And yeah. Do that. So, anyways, this week this is uh, this is bad advice with Jeremy, guys. If you have any advice, oh, let me put this backwards. Okay, if you have any, no, if you have any advice, <laughs> advice as to how I can give shitty fucking <laughs> advice because I don't seem to be very good at it because I think a lot of right. people do it and they're very successful. If you have any particular situation that you are in that you need bad advice from our good friend Jeremy, you can send us uh, those on uh, or at uh, Instagram uh, at Instagram or Instagram at Laughing on the Sidelines, and we got one this week. Uh, this is going to be from Maggie Tilly. Ooh, it's a lady. Yeah, Jeremy, you better be nice. I'm not going to be. I know. At all. I know you're not. But uh, Maggie writes, Dear Jeremy, I have a situation with a friend that I'm not sure how to handle. My friend A just found out that his wife has been cheating on him for the, for, uh, sorry, for the entire seven years they have been together, dating and married. He wants to try and save their marriage for the sake of their daughter. She wants to continue being a whore. <laughs> Jesus. How do I tell him that he is batshit crazy for wanting to stay and definitely deserves better than that? Okay. Now, I waffled back and forth as to whether or not I should do this because here, here's the God's honest truth. I, I hate cheaters. I find cheating to be absolutely abhorrent. It just, you can completely destroy a person, make them never want to trust anybody again. Um, but I also understand the desire to want to keep your family together, especially if kids are involved. That's, uh, that's an important thing. But thank God you are doing 
what is, I think, the most noble thing you do you can do and, and be a true friend, which is to sit back and try and armchair quarterback somebody else's life. <laughs> That's really what it's it's not about telling them what they need to hear or want to hear. It's just about telling them how they should do shit that you're not involved in. Now, really, uh, as I've I've said many times in the past, communication is key. You need to set this guy down away from everybody, away from her, away from distractions, and just really tell him what's what. And that's going to be kind of hard to do because he's too busy trying to piece his life back together. I mean, for God's sake, this asshole has the audacity to believe he can make his own fucking decisions about himself and his family. So here's what I suggest you do. You're going to want to go down to the auto parts store. And you're going to want to buy a product called starting fluid. Uh, This is a very volatile chemical that sometimes people use to start their engines with. It is comprised of primarily ether. Uh, You're going to want to pay in cash for this. Most definitely. I mean, for God's sake, it's only like six bucks a can. So the last thing you're going to want to do is rack up interest on that. I mean, who wants to pay 14%? on a credit card on that kind of a purchase it's also covid season so you're definitely going to wear a mask cover as much of your face as possible when you make this purchase here's what you do when he gets home from work you're gonna put a little bit on a rag and you're gonna want to play you know that guess who game where you sneak up behind somebody and put your hands over their eyes you're gonna want to do that with his mouth this only takes a few seconds and he's gonna fall asleep trust me i've seen movies where they do it I've never actually done this yet, but I'm pretty sure it works. You're going to want to do this somewhere close to your car because he'll fit very neatly in the trunk. Then you're going to want to take him out of the way to a very special place known as off the grid. (laughs) You're going to want to get him free of any distractions. That means you leave your cell phones in a discarded trash can somewhere. And then once you get him out there, you're going to, he's not going to want to talk to you. That's just how it is. He's going to resent you for doing this to him. You're going to find an old abandoned cabin out in the middle of fucking woods somewhere, and he's going to be like, take me home. You're not going to do that. You're going to sit here, and you're going to talk this out. You're going to tell him how his life should be. If you really want to restrain him, you can use rope, I suppose, but you're out in the middle of nowhere. Rope might come in handy. You don't want to waste that. There's a trick that I've seen in a movie, though, with a board and a sledgehammer. (laughs) Look up the, the movie Misery. It's the most famous scene from that movie. You'll, you'll get all the tutorial you need from that. Um, now, once you've broken his fucking ankles and the screaming stops, <laughs> this is when you really want to sit down and talk to him. And you cannot take a break. This has to be a constant conversation. No breaks. So you're going to want to do some crystal meth. All right? <laughs> him, on the other hand, he's probably going to get really tired. You cannot let him go to sleep. Okay, anytime he starts to doze off, you need to splash him in the face with a cup of water or something. Make sure he stays awake. If he gets hungry, fine, feed him. But go with like potatoes, rice, bread. Uh, And I'll tell you why. Um, See, his brain is so corrupted by her poison, by her vile, by her filth. His brain is dirty. You're going to want to wash his brain or brainwashing, as some people like to call it. (laughs) Sleep deprivation and starchy foods actually tend to help out a lot when it comes to the brainwashing process. So you're going to want to keep at this for a couple of days, maybe even a week, however long it takes to get the message through to him. But uh, the thing about sleep deprivation is it's going to make him very, very paranoid. You're going to want to prey on that. You're going to tell him how his wife is maybe a Soviet sleeper operative. (laughs) You know, tell him how that kid of his is uh, maybe a demon that's going to kill him in his sleep, how he's going to want to stay away. You're going to keep this up until he's convinced. Trust me, you got plenty of time. Those ankles gonna, ain't going to heal anytime soon. So once you get to that point, once you've convinced him that he does not need his wife, does not need the kid anymore, now you're going to want to change his clothes because breaking his ankles, he surely shit his pants. <laughs> and you're going to just want to take all of his earthly possessions from him, everything that he used to, uh, you know, to, that's going to remind him of how his life used to be. Just give him like a, a burlap cloth, maybe something to tie it off with, and you're going to want to leave him there. And you're going to go find some other people who are just as lost as he is. You're going to convince them to join you as well out there in the middle of nowhere, out there on your compound. 
And you're going to get them to buy into the same bullshit that you do. They don't know how to live their fucking life. You know how they should live it for them. By the end of this whole thing, they're going to believe everything that you're going to say. They're going to follow every word that you say. You need to get like some big cosmic event. Like, uh, okay, you know the constellation Orion? Oh, yeah. Look up in its left shoulder. There's a bright red star. That's the star known as Betelgeuse. It is a red giant that is scheduled to go supernova at any time. You're going to want to predict that, but tell them like it's the the eye of Zulu or whatever, and it's watching down on you, and you're predicting the end of the world once it explodes because that's going to be the brightest thing in the fucking sky once it does. It may have already done it. It's 600 light years away. You wouldn't know. And if it does happen, now you're kind of stuck in this shit because now it's Kool-Aid time. <laughs> And as you sit there with all of your followers and your compound as they sit around in their organic farms, believing in everything that you said, he's totally forgotten about his family. And as you take your final drinks of cyanide lace Kool-Aid, <laughs> you can sit there and say, thank God I saved him. Because <laughs> you know better for him. And that's my advice. <laughs> All what right. I'm saying is start a cult. Because <laughs> clearly you know how to live people's life better than they do. Absolutely they do. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but Sorry yes. I couldn't rival last week because no, I had nothing okay. else. Give me some better shit to work with, you assholes. <laughs> Thank you, Maggie <laughs> Tilly, for uh, for reaching out. You know what? I don't thank her. She's going to fuck up this guy's life. <laughs> Stay out of his business, you twat. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> wow. Uh, it was just a joke, right? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Spot I mean, on. is it any more obvious? <laughs> Somebody wants to fuck their friend. <laughs> she. This is actually a woman who's been put in the friend zone, and she don't care for it. She <laughs> wants him to leave his wife for her. That's exactly what's happening. Uh, probably. You're probably right. All right. Uh, but thank you very much. We do appreciate it. Again, if you have any, uh, you know, any situations where you need some bad advice, because that was some bad advice. Are you uh, sure? I, Seems like I solved a lot of problems. You probably did. Uh, but send them to us at uh, or uh, on Instagram at Laughing on the Sidelines. Thank you guys so much. Now we get to move on to some overrated or underrated. We've got some fan suggestions here this week, kids. Quite a few of them. Oh, uh, but we're going to start. What? Shut up. Uh, we're going to go to the first one. First one is overrated or underrated. Going vegan. Overrated. Why? You know what's better than cheese, which is fantastic? <laughs> Meat. Uh -huh. <laughs> Both of those things are fantastic. If you're vegan, you can't even have cheese. Yeah. Meat with cheese, even fucking better. Yeah. So, yeah, fuck that. Not only do I agree with you 100%, I think the second, like, Worst thing about going vegan is that every single time you meet a new human being, the first thing out of your mouth is, I'm fucking vegan. And I hate that shit. So, yeah, this is overrated. Jeremy? What? Going vegan. I'm still pissed off at this chick. <laughs> She's well, probably vegan. She's, She's probably vegan. Probably. Yeah. Yeah, she didn't like meat. Well, that's, that's pretty <clears throat> fucking cultish in itself, isn't it? Right. Um, Listen, here's the thing. I actually know a few vegans, and most of them keep to themselves about it. They don't try and push it on nobody. Um, but then again, I, I'm while I admire their devotion to it, I wish I had that kind of fucking conviction with anything in my life. Mm -hmm. uh, the message is very misplaced. Yes, it is. Um, have you ever had a popsicle made of beef? <laughs> oh, you talking so to good. over there? You know he, he sure has. he has mm -hmm. beef sickle. That's that's his new nickname, Scotty the beef sickle <laughs> German. All right, I'll take it. Moving yeah, on. you will, because we're going to put it on you. Cool. You have no choice. Fine. Uh, next one is mm. a fan suggestion. Mm -hmm. This is from at amb underscore fifty six. They want to know overrated or underrated. Playing childhood games like tag and hide and seek as an adult. Overrated. That's exercise. <laughs> I don't want to go run around, period. Yeah. Way overrated. However, shitty hide and seek, very underrated. You ever played that? When you're drunk? No. Oh. No. You You just, uh, I don't know, it's like uh, the old cartoons where yeah. you just find the most ridiculous place to fucking hide, like... Somebody fucking comes in and you just got a lampshade on your head. Fuck, yeah. <laughs> You're just standing there. Yeah. That's hilarious. 
Uh, I'm going to go underrated. I disagree with you. This is why I'm going to live longer than you. Yes, it's exercise, but uh, as an adult, I kind of like playing tag, especially if it's like that actual like movie, the tag, right? Where people like fly from other states in order to tag their best friends because it's a game they play for two solid months. I think that's fucking great. You know who you should play tag with? Who? Dwayne Haskins. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jeremy. Yeah. Overrated or under, Ben? I, I'm going underrated. Good. This has actually been one of the uh, real play. I haven't done it in a while, but as an adult, I have done this because it is so fucking weird the transformation that happens. Because there's a rule of tag that if you don't declare the rules ahead of time, there's a rule of tag that most people are not familiar with or at least don't take advantage of. Like, I can do this. Tag, you're at base. <laughs> as long as you say base before you touch it, that's base. You can't do a fucking thing about it. And it's a, incredible the, the level of competitiveness oh, yeah. that will ensue. I have seen grown men run through an office chasing each other. <laughs> and there's always that odd man out who really wants in on it. Me. And, yeah. <laughs> yeah, me. Yeah. Yeah, I could see that guy, like you being that guy, going, no, I want in. Man, here's the thing. He won't know that I'm it. So you tag me. <laughs> and then I'm going to go get him when he's not expecting it, man. I'll be your, like your wingman or whatever. And, and then that guy turns into fucking Rambo, and he's like, no way, man. It's between him and me. <laughs> the final show, to, I'm going to get him. I'm going to get him. I don't need any help. You stay out of the way. You're just going to get hurt. So, uh, yeah, I've seen that happen, and it's a lot of fun. And uh, you, But you said it's underrated, so I'm going to go over it. Fine. Fuck you. Even, as much as I love it, fuck you, Scotty. Cool. Mm. All right. Uh, next one. This is from another fan. This is yeah. from at Sex Weasel. Sex Weasel is actually from over in England, believe it or not. Of course he, he is. Big fan of the show. He he, uh, he sent us this message. But uh, Do they he, fuck on the left-hand side over there? 100% <laughs> of the time. <laughs> fuck them. Yeah. They, they we, just give handies left-handed. Yeah. I, don't, I don't like that we're taking suggestions from this guy. We beat those cocksuckers in a war <laughs> twice. <laughs> True. That's true. All right, uh, but he wants to know, overrated or <clears throat> underrated, tailgating until you are way too drunk to actually enjoy the game. <laughs> overrated again. I spent that much money going to that fucking game. I spent $40 to park. I'm not going to – I'm going to enjoy my fucking $3 beers or $2 beers and not drink as much in the game, but I want to remember what the fuck I'm going to watch. Yeah. So overrated. I'm very good at this. Getting way too drunk you at know. a public event. You don't make an ass of yourself, Acting though, do like you? an asshole. Huh. And not having a good time because I'm getting sick in the parking lot. Actually, I've only done this like twice. That's too, too many times, <laughs> Scotty. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This You're an is, adult. This, no, this is when I was, I was much younger. I was like 22, 24. Yeah, that's an adult. I don't know if yeah. you know the legal definition of an adult. I don't believe them. I don't think Under they're adults. Circumstances, it's, uh, that certain age, circumstances, it's 16. They're not adults then either. Uh, but no, this is way overrated. I, I agree with Derek. You're going to spend some money on tickets to go see a, a, like a big sporting event. Yeah, I can see having fun, having a good time. Don't get too fucked up. You're going to be miserable. I've heard so many stories of people that got way too drunk going to an NFL game. They go in there, and then they end up sleeping through the second half and get woken up by other fans. It's not a good time. Overrated. I have my favorite photo. I was at a Royals game with my buddy Brian. Fucking great photo. This chick goes... Where it's like the second inning or first inning, and her, her friend's going to get a drink, and you just hear this chick go, Vodka lemonade! <laughs> and Brian looks at me, and he goes, That bitch ain't going to make it to the fifth <laughs> inning. <laughs> and so about an inning and a half later, it's the third inning, Brian just goes, Oh, no! <laughs> I go, what? He goes, look! And I turn around, and there's a railing where that chick was sitting, mm -hmm. and she is just fucking <laughs> out. <laughs> I, I had to snap a photo of it. If I can find it, I'll show you. It is. I still have it. I fucking love it. You showed it to me. It's great. Oh, I like, she's I like gone. to think that she's just in the downturn of a wave. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> she really gets into it. Yeah. Eventually holding. She's gonna... Holding. Yeah. Still I'm holding. <laughs> waiting for the rest of the upper deck to get around. <laughs> How about it's you? coming around any time now. What about me? How about What about you? I have done this before. Yeah. Probably wasn't my best self when it happened. Yep. Uh, May... 
have told the story about getting kicked out of a Chiefs preseason game. <laughs> that is a great <laughs> story. So great story. I don't know how long ago or what episode that was from, but it was second. Just, I'm going to say okay. That seems early, but That's it was uh, it was a ways into it. Um, yeah, if if you're getting kicked out of a preseason game. <laughs> That's kind of when I started to take a look at my life and think maybe I have a problem. <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right. Uh, next one. This is actually a friend of ours on TikTok. He's a good guy. You should go and follow him. This is uh, at Switch Off at Work. Uh, he wants to know, overrated or underrated, laughing at someone else's kid when they fall or get hurt. Oh, underrated all day. <laughs> As to put from Letter Kenny, I don't give a shit about your kids. Mm -hmm. That's the best thing in the world. A kid falling off a bike uh -huh. or fucking, oh, I could watch that all day. What if it were your kids? I, it's still fucking, I'll push him. Okay. I don't care. Yep. Uh, yeah, this is underrated. Especially if it's not your kids. Oh, watch somebody else's kids eat shit because of how terrible of a parent they were. Oh, it's so great. Underrated as hell. Jeremy? I can tell you this, uh, as the only guy with a kid on this podcast, that even when your own kids fall, for a half second, it's... <laughs> <laughs> and then it's, oh, are you okay? <laughs> and the only thing that really brings you around to actual concern is knowing you're going to have to pay for if there's, like, hospital bills and oh, yeah. shit. Um, other than that... <laughs> 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 so when it's somebody else's kid, yeah, I'll... I will laugh out loud. <laughs> I will. I will lull. Um, but uh, no, I, it's uh, kids were made to get hurt. Yeah, that's and and here's the the They're best bouncy. part. Here's the best part about having a son. Yeah, is that honestly, as long as you have a smile on your face when you do it, mm -hmm. you can kick the shit out of them, and they don't get hurt. They are practically indestructible. I mean, don't do it on like concrete or stone or whatever, but for so many years, if I saw my son just standing there, I would blindside his ass. And uh, then, you know, he got pretty big, and I forgot to tell him, yeah, we don't do that to dad. <laughs> and, fuck and that, we don't. <laughs> yeah, apparently it was too late at that point. And, you know, between he and I, I mean, that's like 500 pounds slinging around. That's a lot of fucking beef getting, getting thrown around. You'd like that, Scotty. You can that all day long but uh you know it's like if we lose our balance we're going right through the sheetrock right right and i found that out because i spent a weekend fixing the fucking sheetrock <laughs> once and i still wouldn't stop nice <laughs> every time i saw him standing there behind the couch if he didn't see me coming oh fuck yeah i'd just nail him take him out kids getting hurt is fun yep all right last one this is mm. one what uh that that uh somebody on the show actually suggested this one <sighs> and i like it this is uh, overrated or underrated. The cheese and blowjobs joke. Over fucking rated. I wonder whose question this that was. That was my question. That is very overrated. How many millions of views has that thing gotten? I stolen or not? I, I stopped counting at like 40. Oh, God. It's such an easy joke. <laughs> Oh, uh, I don't get it. I don't. I don't understand. I'm glad. I'm, I mean, it's cool. It took off. It got us followers and stuff. But yeah. man, that, as Jeremy's, that was a that was a truck. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I'm guaranteed. Had I not have said it, it was coming right right behind with Jeremy. <laughs> from from here on out, a joke like that will be known as a Haskins. Yeah. <laughs> Yikes. Yeah. Uh. As the non-funny person on this show, that joke is not. That's the low-hanging fruit that guys like me reach for. That I'm not. I'm not the stand-up comedian on the show. I'm Don't not the funny guy. Me. Don't you dare compare me. To I you. am saying that that part of that joke, while the low-hanging fruit, he does it, have a press pass. Derek. It, I got a press pass to that one. If it would have been the other direction, it would have been very easily gri grabbed by somebody like myself. It's a very easy joke, and the oh, fact you wouldn't have come with that. You're not that clever. I'm clever enough to pick that one out. I guarantee you that. But but no, it is it is an overrated joke, and the fact that people are still stealing it and haven't heard of it yet just absolutely shocks the shit out of me. I've had people ask me, like, "Hey, I have a weird question, but this sounds a lot like yeah, 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 for sure." Jeremy, yeah, what do you think? 
I, I, I'm going to go with it's underrated. underrated it's baby. absolutely underrated to, to be able to tell that joke while playing grand theft auto. <laughs> fuck, <laughs> That takes some real skill and concentration, right? Using the same video every single time over and over. <laughs> Sometimes he does it. it during different videos, but he makes it sound exactly like it exactly. did before. That's I don't know how he did it. I mean, it really pointed out what a poor lip syncer Derek is. Yeah. Right. Terrible. The worst. Or all but, the other fucking videos that we do on a regular basis that, you know, people just... Steal. And what it really drives home is how good cheese is. Yeah. For those fucking vegans. Exactly. Mm -hmm. My goodness. All right. Well, Matt Donaher's a vegan. He, oh, well, good for him. He's actually a pretty good guy. He he's, 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 good, he's a real good guy. Real good guy. Though. He didn't email me anymore. I emailed him, and then he never... I said, hey, check your email. And then I never heard from him again. <laughs> he's like, oh, sorry, man. I've been busy. I'll get back to it. And then He does take a while to get back. Yeah, we're going on about eight months now. Yeah. Maybe oh, boy. Maybe he doesn't like you anymore. Did you yeah. tell him you were a vegan? <laughs> no, not yet. I huh. haven't broke the news. Look at him. Do you think you'd believe him if he told you that? Well, Scotty, that's a A and C conversation. Be gone. Okay, fine. All right. Well, that's overrated. Now that's a fucking joke. Yeah. <laughs> boom. Boom. <laughs> Give him the rim shot. All right. Next uh, next segment uh, we're going to get on to is questions and pregoons. So this is Jeremy's part, or favorite part of every single episode. I'm still trying to find a photo of this fucking uh, You're never going to fucking find it, bro. Oh, my God. Yeah, Why did never. I take so many pictures? Because. You're, They're all fireworks. You're you. That's <laughs> <laughs> all yeah, I have in my Yeah, boat. it's just all you. Like that. It's selfies and everything. Yeah. It's fireworks and that Creed concert I went to in 2009. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Dude, could Seriously, can you forward me some of those fireworks? Yeah, oh, photos? absolutely. Yeah, I right, need to yeah. see those. I'll tag I'd really I'll tag like you. to see those. Is shit blowing up in the air? Oh, big time. Seriously? Big booms. Oh, fuck yeah. Send big me those booms. photos. All right. Good deal. All right. Uh, so now we get to move on to questions and preguntas again, guys. If you have any good suggestions for questions and preguntas, you can send them to us at Instagram, at laughing on the sidelines. And if they if we if we like them or if Jeremy or Derek like them, we'll we'll uh, put them on the show, give you a shout out. So uh, first question, this and I believe there are going to be no shout outs on today's episode. <laughs> nope, they got overrated, underrated pretty well, uh -huh. but uh, questions uh, a little bit lackluster. All right, so uh, first question is, uh, let's see. Oh, there we go. A movie guaranteed to hit with necrophiliacs. Goodwill Munting. Oh my god. <laughs> That's fucked up, bro. <laughs> yes, I think that's a fucking smash hit. Oh, literally. Oh, we're making up titles now. <laughs> yeah, I thought we were having to do existing movies. I did too. Nah, Goodwill Munting. You haven't uh, seen it? No, oh, it's I fantastic. Haven't. Of course, I've seen it. Yeah, <laughs> that's a, a new porn parody. Goodwill Munting. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I, I have seen it, <laughs> and I didn't think it was that great, yeah, honestly. Really? No, it was awful. Oh, man, I thought it was going to get the Oscar. No, uh, I went with uh, with my girl. Young, uh, you know, young Macaulay Culkin. Uh-huh. Dead in the casket. Yeah. A lot of pedophiles Stung probably by like bees. That. Yeah, I think a lot of pedophiles probably like that shit. Uh-huh. Yeah, so uh, do they have... Veda Sultanfuss was the... Uh, do they the have chick's a name, the character, the main character. Okay. The the, the girl of my girl. I, she was kind of cute back in the day when I was a kid. Anna Klumsky? She would have been way older than you. She was like my age, Scott. Yeah. Well, I like older women. Sure you do. Yeah. She was probably wearing reading glasses by the time <laughs> you saw that movie. Probably. But yeah, that's mine. How about you, Jeremy? Oh, I just went and died of the living dead. Yeah. Well, that's an easy one. That's the low-hanging fruit. They of come day. to you. Yeah, for sure. Literally. Yeah, if you're good enough, they come to you. Right. <laughs> see what I did there? You see, I see. See the innuendo? Yep. Derek's too busy looking at himself in the photos. He's just, he's yeah. just going. I'm going to find it. He's going to find it. But it's going to take the rest of the night, but he's going to find it. Exactly. All Are right. you going through the whole gram or what's you, up? Yeah. I, don't, I only got like nine pictures on the gram. <laughs> All right. Next question. What? A new book, How to Talk to Your Kids About Blank. Derek? Uh, golden showers. Really? Yeah, you never know when they're going to run into an R&B star, and mm -hmm. they can never be too prepared. This is true. Yes. That's true. That's a safety thing. Mm -hmm. You need to be, you know, talking about yeah, that. Yeah, second one would My be... My mind's telling me no. Second, Put my body. I can't sing. Second, second one no, would have can't. been strip poker. <clears throat> oh. What? Yeah, you got to teach them early. Teach them early so yeah, they don't yeah. lose. Mm -hmm. That makes perfect sense. Um, Alcoholism. Okay. Mm -hmm. You got to train them early. Sure. Yeah. Sure, sure. You need Absolutely to coach. You do. 
liquor before beer, you're steering clear. That's that's one of the rhymes that's in the book. You know, you got to teach them that. Now, is this a children's book? No, not or necessarily. Is this, it seems like an, a, a book for adults. No, it, it is a book for adults, especially when you're fucking drunk already, so it's an easy one to read. So and that yet way it still rhymes. Okay. Yeah, it does. Absolutely. Jeremy? Fair enough. Yeah. I was going to go Russian roulette. Yeah, that's a good one, too. Because sometimes you just need a way out. That's right. And you like to gamble. Mm-hmm. Whoops, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Motherfucker. Come here. <laughs> what are you doing? Break it off in his pocket. <laughs> don't put a penis on there. Please don't put a penis. <laughs> what did he do? What did you write? <laughs> slut. <laughs> your your forearm is a total <laughs> slut. <laughs> That's a slut. I'm That's sorry. a slut in arm. If you're not watching this on YouTube, I accidentally <laughs> marked Derek's elbow. I re- it really was an accident. I'm you sorry. fucking slut. I'm sorry, Derek. You kind of are sluts. Okay. Funny. All right. Uh, next one. Name a job that doesn't exist but would have the highest death rate if it did. Hmm. I got one. Okay. Okay. Um, it's called a bridge jumper. Okay. They test the uh, the height of bridges that people may commit suicide on, and they oh. test to see whether or not they actually survive it. Okay. And That's so not that, what I thought. Because, okay, down <clears throat> in Hazard County, <laughs> <laughs> they jump bridges all the time. That Hazard County is actually America's capital of unfinished bridge construction. <laughs> Every yes. fucking bridge in that county is out. What the fuck? <laughs> and surprisingly enough, they have the biggest collection of 1969 Dodge Chargers with with fucking sure. Confederate flags I mean, on the roof. It's it's like they hire a kick ass demolition crew, and then the reconstruction crew they just they like have no budget for it. Finish a fucking bridge, <laughs> Hazard County. Right. God damn, yeehaw that shit. Yep. How about you, Derek? A bungee cord tester. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, it's well, pretty pretty close to mine, but it's yeah. Well, the original one I was going to do was professional Russian roulette player. Yeah, I bet. but then Jeremy just fucking snagged. Uh, Russian uh, you roulette. you could have tagged it. You could have tagged so. it. It's okay. Who was it? I believe the God rest his soul comedian uh, 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 Tim Wilson mm-hmm. talked about how his uncle was the the two time Russian roulette runner up. <laughs> 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 Here comes crazy Eddie Muldoon. <laughs> Walks up to the stage. Step drag. <laughs> Step drag. <laughs> How about okay. you, Jeremy? Uh, what? The question is, name a job that doesn't exist but would have the highest death rate if it did. Oh, God. Um, I'm... I don't know. I, th- th- my other one that I had was, like, real crash dummies. Because uh-huh. dummies don't give, like, the actual life-like happening of a car accident right. and stuff. Like, maybe they just hired a family of four and told them to argue and get into a wreck and see how, it, you know, how the reaction was. That was another one I had. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing? I've grown bored. <laughs> Honestly, I'm just more watching the game than anything. Thanks, man. Uh, I'm, I'm going to go with a bullet train hobo. Okay. That's good. You try and jump on that fucking train at 100 miles an hour? See what happens. Right. See what the fuck happens. <laughs> All right. Next one. What? What's the best way to drown out the sound of a coworker taking a shit in a nearby restroom? Peacock sounds. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Just do you hear that? You're in the stall and you just go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That'd be, that'd be good. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to hire. <laughs> yeah. I sense a theme. <laughs> <laughs> this this could be a week-to-week running gag. <laughs> Heard it here first. I'm going to go. <laughs> <laughs> I had a guy one time. That I worked with uh, at a restaurant, and he he was a cook in the kitchen, and I was the waiter, and I would go back into the back of the house, and nobody knew that it was him and I doing it. And he <laughs> doing would, it? You, you would hear. Y'all were doing it? You would hear. <laughs> and then he would go right behind me and go. 
<laughs> and we do this back and forth till mm-hmm. one day the boss comes back and goes, I don't know who the fuck is making that noise. <laughs> if it's you, you, I don't know mm-hmm. who the fuck it is, but it's got to stop right now. <laughs> Every time he'd go to confront somebody, the other one would do it yeah. right across the fucking yeah. building. I love it. I love that. That is, that's teamwork. That's real teamwork. Yeah. That's synergy yeah. is what that is. <laughs> Oh, no, but go ahead, Scotty. Uh, I was going <laughs> to... I knew it was fucking coming. How long does it ta- take before it gets old? It um, doesn't. Okay. <laughs> A while. That's how long. <laughs> <coughs> At least till January. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Okay, hmm. no, I went with hiring a uh, hiring Stomp to come and do a live concert. You, seriously, it's four hundred dollars a ticket. You think you can afford Stomp? <laughs> yeah, you damn Just right. To drown I can. Out shit and sounds. Absolutely. Come on. How fucking rich are you? Pretty fucking. rich. Why do you live in such a shithole? I'm borrowing your money. <laughs> oh, well, that makes sense. Yeah, <laughs> I'm borrowing your money. Shut up. But that's what I'm doing. I'm hiring. Stomp. I can't afford press passes. Yeah, you can. Sure could. Yeah. <laughs> I believe that's what they give hobos, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Homeless guys sleep, sleeping out on the... By, by point of gun. Yeah. The infield. Yeah. Sure. Sleeping yeah. In the infield. <laughs> that's, that's what they do when there's no games it's in the session. Right. They just lease it out to homeless people. <laughs> that's the sequel to Angels in the Outfield. Yeah. Sure it is. Hobos, hobos in the, in the infield. infield. <laughs> yeah. Turns out one of them's a wicked shortstop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And it, no, there's no rule that says a hobo can't play, play shortstop. Yeah, there's no Tur- rule. Turns out one of them won some obscure fucking T-ball award. <laughs> <laughs> Back in 1984. And he still got it. Did yep. you ask Bob about letting Jeremy throw out the first pitch as the 1984 Kingman County T-ball favorite defense player of the year? I uh, I started the I started it, yeah. What did he say? Uh, I, it wasn't him I asked. Who'd you ask? The, the other person that's connected to Who? him. Who? His wife. Okay, I'm working oh, on it. Yeah, that's her, that's, yeah. that's uh, how you get it. Far more effective. Correct. Because she'll never shut up about it. Uh, maybe. I mean, like, yeah. J- 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 off the air. Jesus fucking like no, like anybody listens. to Nobody this. listens to this, Scotty. Nobody yeah. has made it this far. I they heard my at. shit fucking bad advice, and they have tuned out a long time ago. I that was horrible. I'm bored about with some it. stuff on this show. So shut up. Yeah, by your wife. Yeah, by us. No, by other people. Who? Uh, Who yells at you? I want to congratulate him. I want to send him a card. My my schizophrenia, Jeremy. It, it's pretty bad. Oh, Jesus yeah. Christ. So but anyways, Jeremy, answer the fucking question. What's up? What's the best way to drown out the sound of a co-worker, co-worker shitting in a nearby restroom? Well, with a basic, simple announcement over the PA. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to direct your attention away from the sound of Phil shitting. <laughs> <laughs> Do not listen to the sound of his loud poops. <laughs> He has been eating bad clams all day long and has some loud shits. <laughs> Pay no attention to them. Listen to the sound of my voice. Fair enough. All right. Last question. Yeah. What's an inappropriate theme for a set of kids' pajamas? Mm. <laughs> Munting. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, good you one. You guys ever lay down a sacrifice <laughs> month? <laughs> <laughs> hey, you got to do what you got to do to move the runner over. <laughs> Jesus. How about you, Derek? Oh, man. Uh, I don't know. There are tons of these. There's all sorts of, I mean, uh, e- evil clowns, oh, yeah. hypodermic needles, right. cigarettes. I'm going to go with urine stains. That's a pretty good one, yeah. <laughs> it's just splotchy yeah. urine stains yeah. all over it. They're gonna get that way anyhow. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's like camo. Sure. Yeah. Then you gotta find which one, which spot you gotta uh-huh. fucking treat. A That's port- why you smell your balls to yep. know which one is authentic <laughs> and which one is the fake piss smell. <laughs> Fuck. Uh. That's there's a fucking use for my skill. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking like abortion procedure too. That'd be another one. Is that what you were thinking? No. Huh. Munting is one. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I was going to say you already fucking answered. I why'd did. You, yeah. Why'd you take my joke? Okay, go for it. I didn't. <laughs> I, I would never. <laughs> Holy fuck! Could you <laughs> could you imagine if I used that piece of shit joke? Oh my god! I'm going to go with the Spanish Inquisition. <laughs> okay. 
Just guys getting stretched <laughs> on a fucking rack or putting in an Iron Maiden. Yeah. <laughs> until they're forced to admit that they <clears throat> they follow Christ and his teachings. Yeah. Or whatever fucking weird cult that this goddamn letter writer is in. Right. <laughs> oh, my God. We're going to go along today, kids. Anyways. go along, Scotty. I know, buddy. But anyways, guys, that is uh, this week's questions and preguntas. Again, if you have any suggestions, send them to us at Laughing on the Sidelines at Instagram. Uh, but now we get to get on, move on to a very popular part of every single episode. This is the Laughing on the Sidelines draft. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines draft. I didn't do it. I didn't say it like I normally do because apparently lots of you people fucking hate it and I get it. <laughs> <coughs> I think and it's more just the sound of your voice. Yeah, that's probably And worse. just you talking. That's what people don't want. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But anyways, I agree. Yeah. But anyways, this week's draft is going to be... <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> We need a t-shirt that says I'd rather be munting. <laughs> that's right. Oh, that's great. Uh, All right. That'd this, make a great bumper sticker. This I'd one's, one's going to go along, folks. My kid munted your honor student. Uh-huh. <laughs> yes. That, oh, what happened to their honor student? Oh, oh God. Just could, kidding. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> we totally could make bumper stickers with that shit. If we sure could. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. this week's draft is going to be um, our what the worst things to find in a pinata. You know, I think if you, if you made a bumper, I think it should just say munting. Look it up. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then people are just in the traffic of stoplight and they're like, oh, oh God. God. <laughs> Their fucking wives are barfing in the passenger seat. <laughs> that like they should be. One. Where they should be in the fucking passenger seat. <laughs> not of the driver's not seat. Driving the goddamn car to a restaurant for fuck's sake. Nah. Yeah. I don't like to drive. <sighs> Thank God. Neither do any of us. We just know how to get there alive. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you ever try putting an Asian at the helm of that fucker? <laughs> <laughs> okay. This week's draft is going to be uh, the worst things to find inside of a pinata. Okay. And uh, I won last week. Thank you all. Well, I quit. I sincerely <laughs> appreciate all of you mm. votes. Buy yourself a fucking belt. I know. Mm-hmm. I'm going to use all that money that I got from all of those votes and buy a new belt. Uh, but, yes, so uh, Derek got last place last week, so he gets first pick. Jeremy gets the sandwich picks, and I get the championship picks. I like and, sandwiches. And I got nothing. So, Derek, who's, what's your first pick, bud? What's the thing again? Worst things to find in a pinata. Oh, f- bees. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't think there's anything else oh. that would be worse than that. Oh, shit. They're pissed <laughs> when you win. Oh, my God. Yeah, that's a bad one. That's a good number one. That's a 101 for sure. Jeremy? I'm going to go with a donkey fetus. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> Turns out that donkey was pregnant, oh, and now you just beat it. Oh, for <laughs> sure. Donkey fetus. You ever sure. had one of those? Of course I have. They're delicious. <laughs> oh, my God. If you've ever been to Chi-Chi's, you've had a donkey fetus. <laughs> oh, God. Along with their fried ice cream. <laughs> yep. All right, well, I'm going to go kind of along the lines of Derek with this one. I'm going to go spiders as my first pick. Okay. <sighs> In the next one, I'm going to go with, God dang it, I don't know, baby diapers. Okay. Mm-hmm. Used baby diapers, obviously. But you didn't say that. Sorry, Scott. It's too fucking late. <laughs> Jeremy. Uh, Nickelback CDs. <laughs> <laughs> so terrible what you're doing to those Nickelback CDs. It sure is. Beating the shit I, out of them. I think that the NFL and their backfield, defensive backfield, should be able to sue Nickelback for defamation. <laughs> sure. All right, Derek, go for it. Period blood? Oh, my God. Can we put that on there? <laughs> Seriously, why would you put that in a fucking pinata? <laughs> You six sons of bitches. <laughs> oh, man. That's bad. All right. Next one. Derek. Uh, what the fuck is that stuff? Uh, the chewing tobacco spit. Oh, yeah. Oh, you want to have a, like a full spittoon in there? So yeah. Spiders on like everybody? The, oh, God. You I'll make all your picks for you. Yeah. Sure. Just chew spit is what I'll put uh-huh. in there. Okay. That's a good one, too. That's disgusting. Jeremy? Carrots. 
carrots. <laughs> fuck carrots. I fucking hate carrots. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's a good one, too. You know what kind of a vegan asshole would fill a goddamn paper mache donkey with carrots? <laughs> a big asshole. A big one. That's right. I bet they'd stuff it anally, too. Yeah, probably. Uh, I'm going to go with Grandma's Ashes. That seems celebratory to me. <laughs> she was what better bitch. way to send her off than by hitting her with a stick? Right. And just blowing her into the wind. Mm -hmm. All we are yep. is dust in the wind, Scotty. Porta potty drainage is my next one. That seems far fetched. No. I don't know how you could get that into a pinata. It's you paper mache. Liquid's gonna fuck this thing up. Guys. Yeah, but but you, it's got to be quick. It's got to be filled very quickly. And, and yeah, and then I like how you've thought this out. Beat the shit out. This of Water. Right. All right, water You've balloons really, filled with period blood. Yeah. <laughs> very. Go with condoms. Yeah, condoms. condoms full of period blood. <laughs> is that what God. you're gonna go with there, this, Jeremy? This fucking donkey is an actual <laughs> mule. <laughs> Go for it, Jeremy. It's up to you. Are we on me? Yes. I got ported potty uh, drainage. Okay. And grandma's ashes. That's what I that's what I picked. So you're those, back to you. Those are seriously your like your picks. Yeah. Um wouldn't you want it? I swear to God, I'm gonna push the button for everybody to Cans of white claw. Ooh. I think a lot of people love that. Yeah, of course they would. There's a flock of white bitches. <laughs> not just not going. people at a party with a pinata at it. <laughs> No, there'd be bit, there'd be mm -hmm. blonde bitches underneath that thing, just like slurping it out of the goddamn thing. Sure, Derek, two dude, last two. Oh God, this is hard. Mm-hmm. It I'm really thinking. is. It really is. It's really it's really tough. Like bees was an easy one. That was a good one though. That was. Hmm. You said spiders. What else do you? I have? did say spiders. Spiders, baby diapers, grandma's ashes, and porta potty drainage. All right, let's go snakes. Ooh, yeah. That's a good one. What kind of snakes? Venomous snakes. I'm talking to Derek. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Cobras, motherfucker. Not, not rat. Yeah, let's go rattlers because you know what's coming. <laughs> yeah. And you're still fucking rattlesnakes. <laughs> But, Stone, but Stone God Cold damn it, I want to break Austin. this fucking pinata. <laughs> yeah. Stone Cold Steve Austin's come breaking out of that motherfucker. Yeah, the Texas rattlesnake. That's right. Yeah, I see what you got there. Yeah, uh, uh -huh. I got one more, don't I? Yes, you do. Hmm. Fuck. Yeah, it's tougher than you thought. Yeah. Uh, let's go with feral cats. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> you know why? Because fuck cats. All of them. And, and by... By feral cats, I assume you mean ones that, that do half-assed uh, Harry Carey impressions? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Meow. Meow. <laughs> Ironically, I, I swear to God, if I have to watch another cat do a fucking cheerleader sketch. <laughs> this, what, God damn it. That cat is a horrible Ron Burgundy. Yeah. Ironically. Feral cats. Oh. Ironically, if you have never watched Will Ferrell's audition tape for SNL, yes. he <laughs> plays a cat. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He is literally a, toy. a feral cat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, not feral. That seems pretty domestic. Yeah. Pretty tame to yeah. me. Come on. <laughs> tame. Come on. Don't sell Will Ferrell short. I like know that. Scotty's going to spell it that way, too. It's F E R A L, Scotty. Not an idiot, Derek. Well, actually, I am, but that's beside the point. All right, Jeremy. I want to think about that for a minute. <laughs> yeah. And the fact that you just said that. Mm hmm. Go ahead, Jeremy. Uh, black licorice. Oh, damn. That's a good one. Oh, nobody would want that. Oh, gee, or circus was, peanuts. I, thought, I was going to say, I thought he was going to go with Spanglers. <laughs> <laughs> You know what? A Spangler. I will let you change it if you want to. Yeah, God, I'm going to go Circus Peanuts. Circus Peanuts it is. God damn it. I was at Menards today. I could have gotten another bag of Spanglers. <laughs> I'm right there by the checkout line. I mean, it's the ultimate impulse buy. Sure, because I really ate up that last bag. It didn't go to waste at all. Uh, you know what? It's uh, it's almost Easter time. I bet Sam's has gigantic bags mm -hmm. of Spanglers. You're probably oh, I right. Hope, I hope so. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> Boy, I've got a tough decision to make here. Do I do Why it? don't you tell us all about it, Scotty? We'll be upstairs. I'm going to go with a pinata full of the little nitro. That's what I'm going to go with. Okay. I, I think I think that's that's pretty accurate. 
I'll, but you know what? It could. Nah, I don't know. It could be a lot of fun, especially if you're beating the shit out of a pinata and like all the kids are picking them up and putting them in their mounds. I might like that. What about smaller pinatas? That's what I said. <laughs> just, no, no. Just a bunch of mini pinatas. It's like a never-ending task. No. God damn it! There's another pinata in this one, and they're all strung up. When uh-huh, you break yeah. it, you don't even have to tie them back up. Mm. They're all there, ready to go. Oh, I'm sure I could probably think of something much better than that. I'm gonna go coconut. That's what I'm doing. I would have said bowling balls. <laughs> I'm going to go with just coconut. Now, what about limes? Because you can put lime in the coconut. You could. Mm. Drink it all up. But that probably makes it somewhat taste worthy, and I'm not going to eat anything or drink anything with coconut. I don't, I don't know. Who sits around drinking lime coconut? Uh, the people in the who? commercial. It's, you it put the song way cup. before. Yeah, who cares? All Harry right, Belafonte, I believe. Great. You're welcome, America. Yep, that's right. All butter, right. Pe- butter pecan ice cream. Yeah. You don't like butter pecan? Well, I hate pecans. But <laughs> <laughs> I do like butter. Hey, can I give you guys a, a helpful tip? Sure. Like a life, I'm going to call it a life hack. Okay. Mm-hmm. Do you guys ever, from Dunkin' Donuts, Scotty, I know you don't like cake. Do you care for donuts? Yeah, I like donuts. Okay. Okay. You know the uh, the old-fashioned? No, notice he at, didn't ask uh, me. He knows. It's like yes. gla- is that glazed? <laughs> no, it's just the, the old-fashioned, the cake donut with no glaze, no nothing on it, just a plain cake donut. Oh, yeah, they suck. Can I uh, do yourself a favor, guys? Try that again. Put it in the microwave with butter on it. <laughs> it gives you a whole different spin on on life. <laughs> it gives you new meaning. There you to go. Life. All right. Well, that's our draft for this week. Uh, I will put it up on Facebook Wednesday morning, generally. If not, it'll be before lunchtime on Wednesday. And you can vote for your favorite list of things you really don't want to be in a pinata. I like to think that people are going to look at this and go, what, what the, the fuck? fuck? <laughs> <laughs> they have run out of shit. They have. We are inching there. That's yeah. right. <laughs> I, I ran out of shit a while ago. Uh-huh. You heard my bad advice. I got nothing left. <laughs> next, I am running on fucking empty joke-wise. <laughs> next ep- her next episode is going to be a draft of like World War II planes. But anyways, guys, uh, you can vote oh, for I'm your... I'm going with the HB2. That's Or no, the SB2, Helldiver. Okay, fine. Son of a bitch, second class, that's what they called it. Right. <laughs> but you can vote for your favorite list of things you don't want in a pinata by clicking on the corresponding emoji, and whoever wins next week gets the championship picks, and we can make fun of the person who gets dead last. And it's probably going to be me, and that's okay. I think next week we should do our favorite astronauts. Okay, that's fine. Uh, but anyways, now we get to move on to my favorite part of every single episode. This is what we like to call the laughing on the sidelines shitty situation of the week. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's laughing on the sidelines <laughs> shitty situation of the week brought to you by finger bang beer and Legos. That's right, Scotty. Uh, on June 14th, 1903, after an exceptionally dry spring, torrential rains and hail began falling on the watersheds of Willow Creek near uh, Hepner, Oregon. Uh, the dry ground uh, kind of acted as a seal against the water, keeping it from soaking into the ground. And uh, within 15 minutes, water began rushing towards the town. This resulted in walls of water ranging anywhere from 15 to 50 feet high. Uh, The the walls came crashing down on the foundations of all the buildings in the town, destroying basically everything in its path. And while most of the town's people made it to higher ground and saving themselves, unfortunately, 247 people died. Uh, that was nearly a third of the city's population. And now your child can recreate the magic of that moment using nothing but a little imagination and Legos. Legos, don't forget your water wings. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this week's <clears throat> shitty situation is, would you rather sit with your parents through the premiere of Goodwill Munting mm-hmm. or... Great movie. Yeah. Or every time you see a very attractive woman that you would like to hit on, you have to do a bird mating call as a human. Jeremy, would you like to uh, So like the, the human version of a bird's mating call. Correct. There was a comedian who did a very famous, I wouldn't say very famous, that's a, that's a complete wrong choice of words because I don't remember who the fucking comedian was. <laughs> so it can't be that goddamn famous. But he did a very funny bit. 
about what uh, male birds are basically doing whenever they do a mating call. They are more or less stepping outside their nest, going out on a limb, and yelling out, who wants some dick, 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 dick? Who wants some dick, 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 dick? That's basically what they're doing. And so as a dude, you have to basically do that anytime you see an attractive woman or a woman who you would have sex with. And as me and my wife have worked out plenty of times, there ain't many I wouldn't have sex with. So this is going to happen a lot for me. <laughs> Oh. I better learn to sing from my diaphragm. Yeah. Uh, I'm doing the bird mating call. Really? I am, I, really? I am doing the bird mating call. I'm never going to get any, but... No, in that's fact, okay. this is... Uh, <laughs> it's, I, I like to think that... Do you know how sexy you would have to be to lure women by doing that? Yeah. Or rich. Well, if I'll you just, just if you just yelled out, "Who wants some dick, 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 <laughs> dick, dick?" and somebody heard that and went, "I do," <laughs> I'm down for whatever. Yeah, leave it to me. I'll do. Don't all. fuck that girl. Whoever <laughs> does say that, uh, she's probably more of a obese. But anyway, I'd probably wear like brightly colored t-shirts and kind of like flap my wings. Of course you would. I sure would. I'd attract somebody. Sure, they'd think it's funny too. Most likely a chick with a huge guy. <laughs> <laughs> that bird was basically doing the same thing that I was doing. Mm -hmm, Who just, wants some dick, 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 dick? Well, I think your mating call would be more. All right, yeah, but I'm doing that. I'm not going to munting with my parents. It's not going to happen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> not Derek? after the way you talked to her on the phone. <laughs> right? Jesus. Yeah. Derek? She won't even say the F word. I know. <laughs> Why would she watch that movie? I know. Derek. What? What would you do? Oh, um, do you have to do the strutting around them and stuff too? Like kick dirt on their feet and I no no. I like to think you do. Fuck! I don't. Here's the thing: is whether or not you have to, I would. Yeah, sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Chicks love when you kick dirt on their shoes. Yeah. Yeah. Just sit there they, oh yeah, they love make that them shit. dirty. You yeah. gotta treat them like shit. Yeah, you do. Yeah, you, you want some then, dick. then they're gonna want some dick. Dick, yeah. dick, dick. dick. That, that's how you establish the alpha right there. That's yeah. Right. Uh I'm going to the premiere. You fucking uh, disgusting I, piece of shit. No, uh, not in this fucking this era. I can't there's no fucking way. Oh god. I'll end up in prison. It'll be funny though. And then I'll be like, dick, 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 dick. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get some dick, 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 dick. Once I get, because I can't fight good. Yeah. So I'll lose weight because they'll take my meal, but I'm going to be holding sure. somebody's pocket yeah. all day. <laughs> uh, Jeremy? Yeah. What do you think, buddy? I'm going to that premiere all day long. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't sit through two girls, one cup. I'm eating popcorn at that's, that premiere. That's not the, <laughs> oh my that, God. That, that's not the movie. I know. It's Goodwill Munting. I know. Yeah. It's just worse. I don't know. This one has a plot. Oh, jeez. Oddly enough, both star Casey Affleck. Because <laughs> he can't find work. <laughs> oh, Jesus. And that guy with the Brian Adams hairdo. <laughs> He's in it. I no, he hadn't been in anything lately. I think I'd get a good chick with like a good sense of humor. I really do. I think she'd be like, that's fucking funny. I'd be like, it's not my joke, but I'll take it. There is one woman in the world willing to have sex with you, and we don't know how the fuck that happened. We don't even know. You, that's not verified that I, she does that. That's yet. true. Yeah. It's really simple. I got a big dick, 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 dick. Yeah, where do you keep it? It's not with you. It's in, it's in, <laughs> in my, his wine rack. No, yeah. <laughs> my wine rack. I was going to say my top drawer, but the wine yeah. rack works yeah, out sure. just fine. Yeah. Thanks for sharing that, Derek. <laughs> Shedding my secret, you piece of shit. Yeah. I like to think that you have a gun rack with them in there. <laughs> just all leaned up against it. In a safe. In a safe, yeah. yeah. You got a vault you got somewhere. A, got a keypad in like, order to get into there. I like to think he's got a safe deposit box with him. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> just got, goes into the bank. I need him to my deposit box <laughs> real quick. He, you know and what? then just walks out carrying this big double headed purple fucking deal. We you both got a good day. That's we each my got a currency. Turn key at the same time. Yeah. That's my <laughs> currency. That's like gold in this house. It sure is. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What? Jesus Christ. Wow, you brought that, a, that, that to a screeching fun. fucking halt. I didn't get to say anything about mine. Oh. And I would just go to it with my parents. Oh, okay. Because 
I feel like it would be slightly less embarrassing than the time I watched Cannonball Run 2 with him. Oh. That was a horrible fucking movie. <laughs> <laughs> Fair to which my mom was like, is there going to be any munting in this whole fucking flick? <laughs> That's fucking awful. I'm tired of watching Burt Reynolds slap Dom DeLuise. It's fucking horrible. Right. Good God almighty. Those are way before your time, Scotty. I know, but I've, I've heard of them both. Never, <laughs> Have you? Never. Just been. now when I said it? Cannonball Run 1 uh, and 2. That'd be weird if you'd only heard it too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know the sequel. I don't know the original one at all. I watched Beethoven 2 before I watched Beethoven. Who didn't? Yeah. It had that one chick that looked like a bitch, but she's kind of hot. Yeah, we've talked about it before. I know. I know. Uh, I'm going to be honest with you. Those, here's what happens with a lot of times when they bring especially child actors back because they, they use the same kid actors for mm-hmm. the second one they did yeah. the first. Yeah. They grow up a lot because it takes a long time for a movie to get made, and you're like, who the fuck is that? Mm-hmm. And why does she have a face full of acne? Right. Do you guys think if Air Bud was in a munting <clears throat> movie that it would be oh, a dog Jesus. or a human corpse? Oh, God. I can't go there. Oh, he's the one doing the munting for right. sure. Yeah, yeah. So, but is it a dog or a human corpse? Ooh. Ugh. Oh, boy, because... Think, Listen, he was a basketball star, and they get all the puss. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It doesn't matter if you walk on four legs. There's no rule that says a dog can't fuck. Yeah. <laughs> There's no rule and, that says a dog can't munt. And yeah. they, they can dig better. Or bird call. They don't even need the shovel. They can. Or, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> They've got, they got their own shovels. Web paws, baby. Yeah. <laughs> they got a. They got a Natural bird. diggers. That's what terrier. Ter, the terrier uh, means like terrain like earth right. digging holes that's what they're there for that's what dogs do munt <laughs> <laughs> that's where we get the word mutt from yeah it's just, <laughs> from, from the latin root munt. yes munt oh, it's a silent n <laughs> and then they change it to a t. sure extra t let me ask you this have you ever seen that movie munty ball I sure have. Yeah. Oh, it's, <laughs> it's munting on a budget. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, we could do this for another two hours. Yeah. <laughs> it's and a really it's weird, over. It's a really weird proposition that Brad Pitt goes to fucking. <laughs> <laughs> What's his name? Him. Seth uh, Rogen? <laughs> no, not Seth Rogen. Jonah uh, Hill. Jonah Hill that yeah. played Seth in that fucking movie. But uh, yeah, instead of. Being a math whiz, <laughs> listen, I'm going to need you to lay there. <laughs> you, you look like you got some heft to you. Do you, think, oh, God. do you think you could factor the math on you jumping on a course's torso? <laughs> oh, Jesus. All right. Anyways, uh, yeah. Do we have any shows coming up for the love of God? <laughs> if we did, they'd be canceled. <laughs> <laughs> that ain't no bullshit. Yeah, the best thing is, is my fucking HR department at work has <laughs> talked about how they want to come watch me do a show. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you just got a new 10 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any shows coming up, Derek? No, I no, don't right no, now. No, not right now. Okay. I enough. retired, so yeah. yeah. Anyway. Well, guys, thank you guys so very much for tuning in for another long episode of uh, the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. We sincerely do appreciate it. Thank you guys so very much. Uh, new followers, welcome to the fucking family, kids. <laughs> it was uh, fun while it lasted. It was fun while it lasted if you're still sticking around. Uh, but in all seriousness, we've been canceled from TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no shit. Wait till I put this joke on there. Um but sincerely, we do. We really do appreciate it. Thank you guys so much. And as always, guys, if you like us, do us a favor and tell your friends. But if you don't like us... Uh, we hope you play Russian roulette with a semi-automatic pistol. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't like us... Until your enemy. And until next time... I can't believe I ate the whole thing. <laughs> until next time... Keep laughing, asshole. We will see y'all later. Take care. Jesus. Fuck.